Well, I don't plan on vomiting again today. That's definitely something I can say for sure. Let's go. Miss Goddess, hello. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I think I'm okay. I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. All right, so I stopped here. I was supposed to beat the game. I couldn't do it. I had a little too much to drink for New Year's and honestly, no fun. The, the drinks didn't equate to any fun because it was just starting to hit me. And then I had one too many and boom. Yeah. Let's go. How was your New Year's? Hopefully well. I'm sure you'll enjoy summer a little bit more. Hmm. All right. Let's let's see. I started at the very beginning of the freaking hospital. All right. That takes two clips, like, full each time, man. Those fuckers take two clips. Some serious shit. That's for Jill. Jill Valentine. I've got time for this! Alright, let's take a look and see if any of these zombies are alive. Are you much into horror games, Jazzy? Do you play a scary game? It's a scary game. A very scary game. You know, I have to say, I do like third-person shooters more than first-person shooters, for sure. I don't know why. Keeps the immersion in there for me. For some reason, have, being in first person destroys my immersion. Which is really what first person is supposed to do. It's supposed to, like, let you be immersed in the environment. The you love Welcome horror. Ooh, Daniel shit. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. My goodness. I haven't seen you play any horror games. Dr. Bard, are you in there? Good day, Overlord. Open the door. No voice match found. No voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit? Sci-fi bullshit is this? Open sesame. No voice match found. This is Nathaniel Bard. Open the door, please. No voice match found. It's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. I was super drunk last stream, not gonna lie. I was super drunk. Apparently I was. Hey, Trommler. Well, can you believe they had like these flat screens back then in like 1998? I know I had this big ass TV in 1998. I had one of those like big screen TVs that was like a fucking tank. It's like in your living room and it's just, now they've got these flat screens that are like, we're gonna have projectors at, at some point. It's gonna be like 3D holograms. Just watch. All right, well, I'm putting a bullet in your face. I'm going to ration my bullets. Every time I fully charge the reticle, it does uh, a little bit more damage. So very slow shots. Okay, you died. Oh, gosh. Plus, also, full auto-wing is a waste of ammo. I can't see him anymore. You streamed RE7? Bro, I don't even remember. I don't even remember what I streamed, like, two weeks ago. Much less what everybody else streamed. Alright, we're gonna 
shoot you in the face. Oh, he's super dead, that guy. VR projected glasses instead of screens. Yeah, that could be a thing. Or maybe they just put contacts on that just... You're in VR. Who knows? Who knows what, what life is going to be like in 50 years? In the year 2077, textures fail to load on your character model. Oh, nice. Save me some bullets. You know what, what? what's really annoying is this person's fucking alive. This person killed me last time. I was drunk though. Sober me is a different... It's a different story, bitch. Time to die. Wow, I mean, just taking those shots to the face, no problem. Okay, we, we definitely cornered ourselves here. Dead. <laughs> oh, I'll start T-posing. <laughs> the T-pose is the funniest thing in gaming. It's the funniest thing, especially when you see... You want to know, there's a T-pose that happens in Silent Hill Shattered Memories toward the end of the game. Uh, it's a game that I, I kind of want to play again. I really don't like the gameplay in that game, but the story is really nice and the atmosphere is really nice. But playing some Silent Hill Shattered Memories would be pretty fun. Uh, but at, toward the end of the game, uh, you're playing as Harry Mason. And when you get to the lighthouse, like Harry looks at the lighthouse and he goes, all my clues are like, everything I, I want is in that lighthouse. And off in the distance, you see Sybil T-posing. Like off in the distance, and it's like on camera, and nobody notices it. Nobody notices it. Go check YouTube, it's hilarious. There's a fucking, like, nobody notices it. When I streamed it, for hundreds of people back in the day, nobody told me she was T-posing. It's hard to see. Because your attention is drawn towards the lighthouse. And then off, off like to the left, slightly in the distance, not even that crazy far into the distance, you see Sybil T-posing. It's, it's so funny. Uh, just making sure you're dead. It's a Wii game. Um, yeah, it operates best on the Wii, unfortunately. Um, but I mean the graphics are best on the Wii, unfortunately. But uh, uh, playing Wii controls, man, it it's not fun. It's a tr it's a challenge for me. I'm still very much anti Wii controls. But you know what? If they ported that game to the Switch, which is really not something they should do because it would make no money. All right, buddy. If they ported it to the Switch, it would it would do much better. Control wise, the Switch has so much better technology for uh for motion control stuff like back in the day what was it, it was like ir and fred like lasers and shit pretty sure this guy's alive ha huh. huh. come on bucko you want some? Come, come get some. Mm. Did you ever beat Resident Evil 7 Jazzy or nah? Honestly, I don't remember. I'm, pro I'm sure I was there. I think me I vaguely... 10% of me remembers and then the rest of me I just don't remember. Mario 7 is a, I think it's a well-made game, but it's barely Resident Evil. It almost doesn't classify as Resident Evil to me. A lot of people, it doesn't. Like, that game had a lot of fallout. Like, toward the, after the romance period of it. Once, once the game kind of settled down and we're like, oh, I think everybody was just glad they didn't get another Resident Evil 6, you know? Hey. 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 That's nice stuff in here. Uh, I think I've got plenty of space. 
crafting companion. Um, I'll keep this. I don't know why I like having my inventory set up like this. This is how I did Resident Evil 4. I would have the knife. Well, there is no knife. But like the handgun and then like maybe a shotgun and then maybe the, an S, like a sniper rifle in RE4. I would just do it like that. When in Rome, act like the Romans. Uh-oh. I know this room. Bad stuff happens in this room. In fact, so much bad stuff happens. I think it's as you're exiting. No, you bitch! Gulp. Still alive. I mean, you have to be dead now. Fuck. Of course, everybody's secretly alive. Gonna give you a new root canal, buddy. Open your goddamn mouth. Holy piss. You didn't get that far into it. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha! I asked you that like a minute ago. It finally, the truth finally comes out. I guess you didn't like it, huh? It's fine if you didn't. Oh my gosh, why is everything alive here? Oh, yeah, stomach. You get bit once, man, and that's danger. Guess he's gonna get wrecked by two hunters. Well, we still have one hunter coming up as soon as I exit this goddamn room. Or maybe I need to. Maybe I need to enter that last door before he comes in here. Son of a bitch. Okay, I need to I need to open that that one door. And then he comes through this this door. Do you see the claw marks, man? That's indication that we're going to get wrecked here. Gotta be careful, because, you know, this game... It really bugs me that one zombie grabbed me. And there's no typewriter here, you son of a... So if, you, if I want to save, I have to go all the way down. Okay. Not this way. Haha, <laughs> there's a fucking liquor in there. Guess who's gonna get wrecked by the liquor? 
I mean, there's so many things that, that kill me besides the two hunters. But I've got something on my side. It's called hiding behind a door like a little bitch. And we're going to use that tactic, man. I really wish that weren't the case in this game. I wish... Haha, <laughs> that pissed him off. Oh, I see his little ass. I'm not sure when those guys bust out. We're gonna... If he, if he just wants to sit there and take bullets, hey, I'm cool with that. I wonder if he's invincible. You know I hate when games do that. Like right now I found a cool little exploit and they don't if they don't let me use that. I'm gonna be pissed. It's like, no, you have to go in first, and then he runs at you. That's when he's vulnerable to being attacked. But I saw him around the corner. Okay, now he's probably willing to come fuck my shit up. Oh my god, he's fast! <laughs> Maybe I should have just stayed back there and sniped him, man. You know? Well, that sucks. Alright, well, now I've got the chance to do better. The defense? You mean the, uh, the tower defense game or whatever it is? Wow, that punch actually does damage. That punch actually did damage. I don't got time for this. It did a lot of damage because I, I wasted like 12 shots, man. I mean, I had like maybe 12 shots in my gun when I reloaded. Well, I had nine, but I did miss a bunch on that one. Defend Carlos, Jill with Carlos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little tower defense game, whatever it is. You've got a guard guard the door and it slowly starts taking damage i've never lost that i'm not trying to brag or anything but i'm pretty good at that man <sighs> yeah i probably haven't seen inferno yet Welcome to the shut your mouth i'm here to rescue you open the door no voice Voice match? Here to sponge bath you, doctor. Sci-fi bullshit is this? Make you take your pills too. Your laxatives as well. Wife's not gonna like that you haven't been pooping regularly. Come on, let's see here, head pop. Preferably at the beginning of their cycle. Brother! Come here. Come here. Hey. That guy's dead. What's the big idea of the Inferno mode? What do you mean? Like, why was it programmed? Or what makes it Inferno? I don't know. Let's, I don't know. This mode's stupidly hard, though. You can outright die in one hit to, uh, to an enemy. Nemesis is for sure going to fuck my shit up. 
You know what really bugs me about this game? If you just save your grenades for Nemesis, like it invalidated, it almost invalidated that rooftop firefight with Nemesis. It, two grenades invalidated his second form. Like I had burst the thing on his back and then I threw two grenades at him and then the fight was over. Um, yeah. Enemies are faster too. Enemies are a little faster. Uh, Nemesis is for sure faster. At least his final form. I don't know how much faster his, uh... Although Dog Nemesis was just as easy, unfortunately. Dog Nemesis is as easy as, as, easy as hardcore mode. I, I really didn't. It didn't really upgrade anything for dog mode. I'm sure he does a one-hit kill or something. Maybe he doesn't let you heal. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. All I know is he was easy as hell. Just as easy. But Final Nemesis is stupid. I mean, his frame data is, is beyond steroided up, man. They put a syringe right up that guy's butt and just gave him some crazy steroid use. Some crazy steroids on him. Whoops. Sorry. This is so dumb. We can't get through the door. I feel so bad. Why did they make the game like that? Same with Remake 2, by the way. And Remake 2 is, uh, is hailed as a pretty damn good game. You know, people were very pleased with Remake 2. Not so much with this game. All I heard is bitching. And I think this game's fine if you're playing on Hardcore. If you're playing on Inferno or something, it's... Uh, it's, not, it's a different type of monster. I think this game on Hardcore mode, it's a nice, fun time. I don't have too much bullshit in there. I think even with nightmare mode, the game's the game works. Except for the last boss, which is stupid. Grab the map, because why not, right? <laughs> All right. We know which ones are alive. That guy's dead for sure. But I mean, on Inferno, I was saying earlier, this game, you can see a lot of its flaws on Inferno. But I still, I still like the game. Isn't that a crazy thing to say? Found the next boy. I wonder if I could just straight knife him from here. <laughs> you dummy. This is what... One of the things about Resident Evil 3, the original, that I hated. Remember in the RPD, there's like a bookshelf that you can trap Nemesis on? I was basically doing the bookshelf thing. I mean, there's... It's not just the RPD. Plenty of places where Nemesis just gets caught under, and you, it's so lame. I hate seeing that. Whenever I watch a Resident Evil 3 playthrough, like I like watching people actually deal with Nemesis. Call me crazy, right? I mean, speedrunners can do whatever they want. 
of like regular playthroughs of people using the stupid bookshelf. I'm like, come on, you little weenie. Like, I beat Nemesis every time. I beat Nemesis every time. Killed him the entire place. Sure, I glitched him on every wall I could find. But I killed him every time, man. I don't like it. Let's put it that way. If you guys even know what I'm talking about. The little... Uh, the little exploits in that stupid game. Which I'm glad really aren't in this game. With the exception of... It looks like... You know, it's one thing that I'm glad... About this game. That makes me happy about this game. Is like, you can't fucking... Do silly shit like that. Although Nemesis just dies to a grenade. So what? what who cares, right? They fucked up on that one. They shouldn't have put grenades in this game. They shouldn't have put any hand grenades. They shouldn't have put any flash grenades. I think everything's dead. All right. No flash grenades are needed. No hand grenades are needed. Same with remake. Uh, remake two. I don't think grenades are needed, man. They're just way too good. Way too good. All right, so we died to the liquor coming up. You know, I'm going to clear out this freaking liquor. I wonder, though... You know what? Well, let's do this first. Nice. Custom part for the whatever rifle getting greatly reduces recoil and gives each shot a more stable trajectory. Don't mind if I do. Randomly found a piece for a weapon. A random part of the planet, a random part of the area. What a lucky day. It's as if the game knows what kind of weapons I have to give me those pieces. Like they didn't give me like like a scope for an RPG. There's no RPGs in this game. I'm so glad they gave me a custom rifle part. Hey, we got a key. I'm gonna go back and save, um, before or after the liquor. I don't know. It really doesn't matter. We'll save before the liquor. I'm gonna jump off the roof one more time. Hmm, you really is another thing that pissed you off. Let's see. The Jill doesn't have her classic pistol. It does, She doesn't. Yeah, that pissed me off too. You can only knock it. Unlock it. Yeah, it, she doesn't have the Samurai's Edge, right? She's got like a, a G18 or something. Which is like... I mean, it's like minor details that I guess the game developers didn't care about. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. When the hell? Why did he come out right now? Luckily, hashtag doors. Shoot him in his asshole. You like that, you fucking bitch. I mean, that's just cheap, guys. I'm going to use it because it's there. But I think we can all agree that's so lame that that's in the game. I love complaining. What can I say? Today's going to be a complaining stream. In fact, all remake was complaining streams. Just complaining. But I still enjoy the game. But we're going to complain. Hmm. Yeah, you can unlock it after completion. I, I It takes bonus points, I think. You unlock it with points. Alright. Oh, so there's the pointless jump too. Okay. Alright, I'm 
gonna go save. We have to fight that liquor, and he's kind of a... He's a son of a bitch. Uh-oh. But I think enemies should have been able to follow you through doors. At least zombies. They should have been wandering around. I don't know. Maybe that'd be too much like Left for Dead or something. Just having zombies wander around. I kind of, it kind of makes me wonder. A little tweak like that. How, how would that have changed the experience of this game? If zombies could wander around and their spawn points weren't really set very well. What was the vent system in Dead Space? I can't remember. The vent system. Hmm, I don't remember. Dead Space 1 I really like a lot. I liked it when Isaac didn't talk. Isn't that weird? I liked it when he was a silent protagonist. Oh yeah, the look, the little babies and stuff. The little babies, the enemies in that game were so cool. They were like babies, but they were like weird and had tentacles. And they could shoot you with things. It was really strange. But I liked it. It's, I think everybody's favorite was Dead Space 2. I kind of wonder how well Dead Space 3 lives up to, uh, to 2021, we'll say. I wonder how, how well Dead Space 3 is if if people have made peace with that game. When I played it, I didn't feel like it was anything wrong with the game. I was like, it's fine. You know, it was co-op, but I played it single player. So, I don't know. Maybe next playthrough I'll do that. The thing is, I wouldn't mind doing another single-player playthrough of that game. You think I could kill this guy from here? I'm going to try to get a headshot off of him. You look a little bastard. All right, I'm just gonna go for headshots. I mean, why risk it, right? Wait, he's he's walking back and forth. Like that carnival game with the ducks that go left and right and you got the rifle. He knows he's being a dick. Oh! This guy's confused. <laughs> I salute you, game designers. You guys are a bunch of fucking idiots. I can't believe I killed him like that. That's so sad. Come on. Why would you do this? What kind of crack were they smoking when they designed this system? Like people won't, will never be able to figure out how to, how to abuse this. All right, let's kill these. Uh, oh, what's the, the passcode for this area? Who wants to be a homie and Google passcode for this? There's only like two numbers on it. It's a weird, weird safe.
I'll do it really quickly. Safe combination Resident Evil 3 Hospital. Nine and three. Right nine. Three one. Well, what do you know? First try. Thing is, as soon as I go back here, they're gonna spawn. Eh, whatever. Alright, dick. Somebody behind me is there. Okay, that guy spawned. Where'd he go? I heard a zombie behind me. Like, there's a third zombie here, and I'm about to get bit. Fuck off. They're all a bunch of fakers! All a bunch of fakers. All right. So, I'm pretty happy with those results. You know, I didn't get destroyed by the liquor this time. Was balanced around co op. That was a long game, too. That was like the longest Dead Space. Like each Dead Space game got longer. I don't know why that seems like a problem these days. You know, not everybody wants to play a game for like 80 years, right? It's like, God dare I say it, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Got 250 hours in that game. Don't even have a platinum trophy. Kind of short. It was longer than the original. Like if the original was like eight hours, I remember thinking this is a thought I have. I'm not sure how how I how accurate it is. Many 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 years later, but I remember thinking Dead Dead Space One was like an eight hour game. Dead Space Two was a twelve hour game. Dead Space Three was a sixteen hour game. Oh, hello. Oh, good, he's dead. Just for me, you know. I want to have a game, but... There's so many games to play. Happy New Year's! A-bomb, the atomic bomb. Yes, sir. It's a New Year's Day. I've got my resolution. It's not really a resolution. I'm out here... Gonna get back in shape. Gonna get rid of being a fatty. A fatty. Any of you guys doing anything this New Year's? You're gonna learn Spanish? Become a male prostitute? What is, what's your resolution? Anything? Okay. Not this way. It's your resolution to stop making resolutions? How long to beat says DS1 is 11 and DS2 is 9. Hmm. It's giving up smoking, switching to vaping. Okay, I'm not sure if that's any better. I know inhaling uh, combustion smoke is, is bad, but like, uh, I mean, I guess. I, I would try quitting the entire thing if... Well, I mean, I wouldn't do that, but... Maybe quitting the entire thing would be be good excuse my mal mal formed opinion here i'm just a streamer that plays resident evil games well i've got this key we're gonna have a hunter that spawns here a 
a hunter. And there's not really a, anywhere I can run. I have to fight him head on. So I might take some damage doing it. If I can get a lucky... You little son of a bitch. Dead? Whoa. Oh, this dude dead. I think we got our card key here. All right, we can toss this. We have a hunter. Hunter, you know, every time you get a key item in, in any video game, and then you have to backtrack to where you came from, boom, enemy fight. Like, boss fight, enemy fight, jump scare. It's like, yes, progress. Huh? Holy shit. That's the new age hunter cutscene from part one. Lord. Jesus Christ. That's what I'm saying, Carlos. Fucking A. Fucking A. There's gonna be more of those bastards on there. I don't know why they try to be all dramatic that there's like a freaking hunter there. That's normally when you fight the first hunter on like hardcore mode. But like on Nightmare and on Inferno, you fight a hunter before it, so it's a little strange. All right, we got a hospital ID card. Let's go back to that one area. Assuming there's no hunter respawns anywhere. I know, hi, player. I've been rationing my bullets, getting headshots and uh, full precise shooting. So I've got a little bit of ammo, like maximize my ammo, really. You know, like, I think, I don't know how normies play this game. If they just go full auto on body, on the body. Take full auto body shots. Oh, there's one of these guys here, huh? There's the regenerators, the pale heads. Yeah, you think I don't remember your stupid ass? These guys get rocked like a hurricane by this this gun though. Which which part? Um were you full auto shooting by any chance? I think there's a demographic of people that might just kind of like open fire, maybe on body shots. But with me, I, I go for headshots. I'm not really a, a shooter type of guy or anything. I'm not trying to like... Oh, this room. Oh, this fucking room here. There could be a guy behind the door, by the way. I was bit back there one time. Oh, the hunters. Yeah, these guys are going to be assholes for sure. gonna pop out man where are they hey okay, that's strange I thought there was two zombies here maybe that's with Jill
Where the frick are those zombies? Well, I mean, I guess that threat is gone, but now we've got a new threat. It's called the Two Fucking Hunters. Somebody wished me good luck earlier. I think it was a cultist. In a very sarcastic, snidey way. <laughs> Only because this Rue is going to freaking destroy my anus in a second. Uh, excuse me? What was that sound? Oh, 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 oh. Sounded like it was coming above me. Okay, make sure I've got my left headphone in my left ear and my right headphone in my right ear. Sometimes they're switched around and you hear something on the right and then it's to the left. It's the worst thing ever, man, when you're using earphones. I'm an earphone user. I don't use headphones. I think it, you can still fuck that up with headphones too, right? Yeah, one of them can enter this room. Bro, how am I supposed to fight that thing right there? How did, how did the game developers think this was going to happen? Oh. Huh. Huh. How is this supposed to ha How am I supposed to fight these guys? Oh my god! Sorry. Sorry for the screaming. Oh god. Popped off his... Popped off his skull. Oh, that's the insta-kill. Oh, he dead. Running out of ammo here. And then there's that guy. Look at him. I'm gonna have 30 bullets after this, man. I guess I, I guess I just have to. Here, let's abuse the door a little bit more. Coming in, coming, you coming, staying. What? I'm just abusing the door right now. Oh, good. Oh. I got one clip left. I got 11 bullets left. I got no nothing left. Oh my gosh, guys. Is there any ammo left in this freaking vicinity, this facility? We're killing him for sure. I need to find some bullets, man. There has to be some bullets around here somewhere. I still have a card key left. Dr. Nathaniel Bard. We got a, a card key. The linen room is not done. The staff room is not done. Treatment center is not done. Courtyard, but this is Jill's items. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's going to break yet, but it's worth a shot. I 
I think I have to get the the recorder for, for that to break. But if it breaks now, I'll be pretty happy. Because there are some crates there. Actually, no. Doesn't that break for... It breaks in Jill. Or maybe it breaks now. I don't know. <laughs> I got no ammo. All right, you know how we're going to have to finish this, guys? We're going to have to finish it with a knife. We're going to have to knife him to death. And perfect punch dodges. There's literally no ammo anywhere. And Jill is like not feeling it right now. Let's save. I know the tower defense bullshit. Let's give it a, let's give it a try. Worth a shot. I can't believe I'm running around with a knife right now. Like, things have gotten bad. Ten man fucking blast. What's up? We've got a knife. It's a knife only game. I mean, I've been doing nothing but headshots this entire time. And abusing and really just knifing the shit out of people, too. I've rationed my ammo so well, and we are still knifing right now. We're still resorting to the knife. The nurse's station. You know what, what I'm, I'm happy about is that he didn't regenerate HP. That I'm aware of. And these, in the, like the remakes, they don't regenerate HP if you leave them alone. <laughs> well, this is going to be bad. Oh gosh. All right, so I think the punches do a significant amount of damage though. Cause when I, I punched this guy, I had nine bullets left. It did like 12, maybe I would say maybe 10 bullets worth of damage. When I successfully punched him in the face, it seems like that. Cause I killed him twice already. And each time it took a full clip to do it like 32, no two full clips, I think. And then on that one that I actually got a, a, a punch off of, I had 10 bullets left in my gun. Nine bullets, actually, but I missed a little bit more than normal. So I would say it should have been around 10, 11, or 12. So the punch hurts. That's a guess with a little bit of data to back it up. If I can get a punch, maybe I can... We'll see. Right, you son of a bitch. Why are you looking this way? Ugly mother. Okay, I'm looking at his frame data. He's got a backhand. He had a front face and claw. All right, let's try this out. Claw versus... Ha 
The champ! The fucking champ is here. Let's go. And I got 30 bullets, man. I gave that guy a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> that was hella good. So what's up? What's next? What's next on the... Okay, we got the cassette tape. Let's mix it together. What's the last card key used for? Oh, 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 there was a... That's the card key. There's ammo in that room. I didn't have to punch him in the face profusely. Let's be honest. That was sicker. My kidneys are a little damaged though. I've got a limp. Please don't break through now. I forgot about this place. I'm eating you right now. Oh, hallelujah. Halla fucking Luya. Oh shit, they they come. Put you down, son. No! <laughs> Fuck this. Uh, Jill? That shit's for you, darling. We can leave him for Jill. I'm pretty sure. Of an RE4 remake? I'm down with any Resident Evil remake. But I think Resident Evil 4 remake was a little too soon. I think some people were asking for Code Veronica first, which makes sense because Code Veronica came out first. But the thing is, Capcom is just doing the numbered thing first, right? One, two, three, four. I understand their, their, their methodology. I should use a grenade here. I mean, Jill, sorry, you're on your own. Last boss doesn't use, uh... Last boss, you kill it with handgun bullets, so fuck it. You know, she'll, she'll deal with it. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan-changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond... Beyond your comprehension. We couldn't listen to the entire thing. I, I, I shouldn't have entered. It's so funny how disrespectful he is. He's goddamn Nathaniel Bard. You pencil neck bedpan... Something? Tyrell, Bard's dead. He's been shot. And the vaccine? I'm looking. The Pfizer vaccine for COVID? There's gotta be a computer, right? Goddamn Nathaniel Bard. Nathaniel Bard's definitely a character in this game, you know? He's definitely a character. I mean, come on, I think whoever the hell Nathaniel Bard is in this game is... It was an interesting inclusion for the remake. It's kind of funny how he's just like a complete dick. This is VRC I also like this entire Daniel vaccine Barnes, searching. September 29, 11 p.m. They should have had this in the original, in my opinion. Aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Rec 
Raccoon City suffering Raccoon. began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. God damn Nathaniel Bard. I fool. I know they don't want me to... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> She knew all along. And she trusted me anyway. Uh. Fuck! <laughs> Is it here? I think they should have had this in the original. The whole searching for a vaccine thing. It just makes more sense, in my opinion. Like, part three, the, the plot of part three was just trying to leave Raccoon City. It seems kind of like a bland plot line. Seems like kind of a bland plot line to me, doesn't it? Finding it, trying to find a vaccine, even if the vaccine gets destroyed, you know? T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. So how did this guy get, like, infected? Because clearly, uh, T is infected with T. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. T is infected with a T virus. But obviously, I mean, it doesn't explicitly say it, but you can kind of see his deterioration. And I think he's got like a bloody, a bloody arm later on. Oh! Well, that wasn't ideal. That man really tried to do a three hit combo on me. Okay, we got five fifty five shots again. So much for, you know, having ammo. It'd be interesting if they had some Tyrell DLC, you know? I don't know if he's that interesting of a character. You know, in hardcore mode, this room gets filled up with two hunters. Or like two liquors or something. When you come back here with everything. Maybe that's on the Jill's area, though. Pretty sure it was with... I don't even know. Alright, so... I've got two full heals. We got two full heals, ladies and germs. You're gonna be okay, Joe. I'm gonna take that. Got three full heals. Fifty-five bullets, some grenades. The grenades will come in handy for sure. Let's do this. What the hell? I don't give a shit about already done that. Magically has a, a vaccine for the nemesis parasite. Just go to a random hospital, you know, they, of course they have it, right? Come on, this shit better work. This 
See, he's got some blood on his arm. You see that? Tyrell. What the hell happened? Yeah, he's looking at the, the bite wound. The oh, interesting. Carlos was looking at the bite wound. On October 1st, so there is some... City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All some evidence he was bit. Are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. All, all citizens cable a rational thought. Away. So people that There's like pineapple problems. on their pizza aren't allowed to come. Think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, let me sit tight. I got this. Better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Oh, that's all they gave me. Oh my gosh. All they gave me. I've got to just counter the piss out of zombies, man. I don't have any ammo for this. I don't think I can kill things liberally. I think... I might have to punch the shit out of zombie after zombie. Oh, stop it, A player. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Wait, I got 300 bullets? Where the fuck did that come from? Bitch! All right, let's try. Try our damnedest. Wait, he just... Okay, just disappeared. Whore! Nice. I see a first aid spray there. Uh oh, I hear I hear banging. Maybe I'll use one of these right now. Wait, let's get ready for I'm thinking grenade now You better be dead from that fucker You're dead from that for sure Bastard! All right, good, good, good. Got it. 
Asshole! You better be dead, buddy. Ah! Holy sh Ah, dang, man. That hunter took me by surprise. But they give you more than enough ammo. Oh, fuck. Fucker. I give you plenty of ammo for this. See you, suckers. Mission complete. Vaccine's the real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bosey motherfucker. Oh, goody, the dream sequence, right? I mean, that it's totally happening sequence, because it's no spoilers. Chill. That door did not open. He just materialized there. I've got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. Can't do it. And does. That's a recurring theme in this game. I don't understand why they made that as a theme in this game, personally. Though, Jill can't pull the trigger theme. Where am I? What's going on? What are they trying to say about Jill? That she's like some, like, wimp? Attention all citizens. The Even with Nikolai at the end. Even with Nikolai at the end, can't pull the trigger. October 1st. No. It can't be. <laughs> Empty the clip in the woods. I know, right? Well, we're back in black. 
Oh, we got a new handgun. Oh, that's the, uh... That's the last boss killer handgun. All right, let's see what we have here. We just got done fighting Nemesis. Let's reload that Magnum, huh? It's not quite a full clip. Um... We'll put that away for later. But they, I don't know, the, the Jill's character in this game is kind of weird. They turned her in weird and I don't know. Like, I can understand her not being able to, to, to shoot Carlos, right? I can understand that. It's kind of within Jill's character, right? Or at least her original character. Her original character, you know, she was kind of this, uh, a very caring, empathetic type of, you can kind of feel it. She had somewhat of a motherly type of vibe to her. It's just a teensy bit, not, not entirely, but kind of had that vibe to her in the, the original games. You know, very caring. In this game, she's like an asshole to people and apparently can't pull the trigger when she needs to. Like, I can understand her not shooting Carlos, but like her not killing Nikolai. It's just strange. I don't know. It's some recurring theme in this game. Nikolai keeps saying it. He's like, ah, you should look out for yourself and your reliability because you can't pull the trigger. All right. So I got a lightning hawk here. What should I, should I use this? I will keep it with me. I think I've got enough, an, uh, enough goodies here. I think we've got enough goodies here. We got flame rounds in here too. I forgot how good flame rounds are on enemies. I need to start saving up some handgun ammo though for the last boss. So I'm not going to reload. I'm going to save that for the last boss. The shotgun, however, we can liberally use that. Let's go. Let's save. All right, let's go. There's T. Morning, sunshine. It looks like a goddamn he zombie. I sure shit didn't. He's turning white. Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Black guy turning white. You Where know something's he? up. He went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. What an asshole. Fuck you, Jill. Right. Guess I'm not talking you out of this. God, I hate the you so much, Jill. The way that she even, like, kind of a... Lost contact with Carlos. <sighs> Ugh. All right, we got Shoddy. Just have one more thing in here. I'm not sure where it's at. Still something in here I haven't grabbed. Hmm. Oh, that's right. This game's stupid like that. This counts as part of that other room. All right, let's take a look. Oh, I should bring my lockpick, shouldn't I? Hold on. I was writing a thingy for this game. Let me pull out my document. Mm, where is it? Here we go. Um. 
Alright, let's go. Probably a cultist, you know, maybe it was a, they're trying to make her confident, but they kind of, they didn't understand how to do that properly. Made her, well, I mean, yeah, maybe. She is pretty arrogant in this game as well. Just from like, from the get go. Kind of an arrogant little, little shit. I kind of wonder what's in that treasure chest. I wonder if these zombies are still alive because I left them with, with Carlos. I remember on my first playthrough, I left some hunters alive and they were there. On the second playthrough. With Jill, that is. So I always figured the enemies do stay behind. Ha! Huh. Yeah, of course, protected by the... Oh, shit. Protected by the glass. I wonder if I should open fire with my shotgun or my magnum. Magnum doesn't have that much of a place. It's it's kind of good against against the pale heads. It'll one-shot the pale heads, which is nice. But I wonder if shotgun. I still don't really know what's optimal of a weapon here. I know acid rounds kills these guys in like one shot. I'm, at least it did in nightmare mode. Or well, hardcore. I'm, I, I can't remember if it did in nightmare or not. I'm a little, a little. Look at this god! Come on, fellas. The way the uh, the enemies in this game like to, to do that little hide and seek game thingy. This is the first time that enemies do this, by the way. This isn't the first time. I wonder if shotgun will do it. All right, you know what? I'm going to try one with a shotgun. Ah, fuck it. We'll, we'll shoot a grenade at this guy. Problem is, I don't want this guy to bite me when I turn the corner to shoot the guy on the left. Really? I mean, you saw me. You saw me shoot that guy and the bullet went over him. Nice. You gonna die from that or nah? Oh, nice. This isn't. Is he gonna follow me? Of course you are. <laughs> Hold on, let's retry that entire thing. Okay, flame grenades suck on him. He ate one and a half, maybe. I'm not sure if uh, he took the same amount of damage. Sometimes, you know, splash damage is different than like Direct hit damage. I'm not sure how that works. Right. Guess I'm not talking you out of this. The storage facility is on the ground beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos. So expect trouble. Okay, so I'm thinking shotgun maybe. I think shotgun would be maybe a better choice.
Oh my lord. Game and Gears! Thank you for that reset, buddy. I've gotta I gotta switch my my whatchamacallit. My uh alerts. That guy wants a piece of me. Thanks for that reset, uh, Mr. Gears. By the way, happy new year to everybody. Any plans for this new year for anybody? Anybody like decided they're gonna start up that thing they were gonna do, lose that weight they were gonna lose, do that thing they've been putting off? All right, that hunter's eating it, man. Problem is, these guys are protected by a nice sheet of glass. As soon as I fire one bullet at these guys, Hunter's coming. Fuck it. Asshole. Oh, we... I mean, how is this fair? Well, we're dead. I didn't see him. Make out session, guys. Um... What did he pull out there anyway? Was that like, was that a trachea or something like that? All right. Right. Guess I'm not talking you at it. Storage facilities underground. Need this hospital. I've lost you know, I'm going to put these bullets inside of the, the chest before I forget that they, before I start reloading with them. I want a nice amount of bullets for the last boss. 17. I need to use more shotgun at this point. Hey, Callum. What's up, babe? Every day for a month. Okay. Or so and plan to continue. Okay. I hope so too, man. Resident Evils are your best franchise. Mine is... I'm not sure. What is everybody's favorite franchise? For me, it's like a tie. I'm not sure if it's... It's a tie between Zelda and Assassin's Creed. And then second place would be like Resident Evil for me. You know what? Maybe I'll just go in there. And just burn these fuckers. She needs to die. All right. I'm going to go in there and toss a flame grenade up their ass. Let's see how they like that. See, that was optimal. All right, we're going to shotgun the shit out of that other guy. I think those guys are cooked, man. Hi, right, turn around, asshole. He slapped Jill in the face. You guys see that? It, I'm still on fine. He's, he bitch slapped me. Phew. Souls, Souls. Yeah, the Souls games are great. I'm a big fan. I'm using uh, Souls as my channel points, by the way. Hi, Kai.
Souls games are great for me. I do like Souls games a lot. Old Square RPGs, uh, definitely. I'm I'm at at an age where I got to experience uh, SquareSoft when they were new. So that left because they were so goddamn epic. You know, it did leave an imprint on me. I do love old school SquareSoft games. Nice. Hey Kai, thanks for the follow. Everybody, give Kai a nice hello. Yeah, nobody does like six. For, no, I mean, I, I, I've played a lot of Resident Evil on my channel. I would say maybe 50% of the people like Resident Evil 6, which is still really low. If you ask somebody who, who likes Resident Evil 4 or something that have played it, you know, every, there's going to be like a 95% yes to it. But like 50% is really low for a game. I would say this game has a pretty low reception rate too. Although I do enjoy it, although I, Inferno mode has been kicking my ass, not gonna lie. And I, I really wonder if backtracking here is gonna be worth it for me. I think I can squeeze by. Hold on, before we do that, let's go over here. Yeah, if you don't kill these things, they stay here when Jill's here. So if you don't use Carlos, it's better to use Carlos to empty his gun on these things rather than you emptying your gun. Oh, are these where the two fucking zombies are? Where's the zombies? There's, there's supposed to be two here. Did they remove them? Hi, Jane. You gonna do a quick brick stick stack. I'm not sure what that is. I'm too stupid to realize what that means. Nice, mag ammo. I don't think it's that great though, to be honest. So I used a bunch of shotgun shells on a respawn hunter. Thank you, Mr. Chain. Your new name is Jimmy. I met Chain IRL at TwitchCon. All right, now we can kind of jump off here, not here. I think we got all the, oh wait, the locker room too. Let's go do the locker room and then we jump off. So we got four mag ammos as a notable reward drop. On hardcore, this is where you get the magnum. It's a little late to get the magnum on this, this game. It's a little late. Oh, hello. Pretty sure that dude's dead. Stab him in the head, man. That guy's dead for sure. I'm scared. Okay, he's dead, dead. Hi, my lady. Is there anybody else in there? Oh, she's dead. There's a lot less head pops on Inferno, you know? TwitchCon returns in 2022 or later this year. I'm hoping later this year, but I wouldn't mind. There's a part of me that doesn't like traveling. There's really not, I don't even know if I'd go to TwitchCon, to be honest. I mean, if it's San Diego. Eh, not really, I don't know. 12 shotgun shells, okay. So, sick room. So I got 12 shotgun shells. That's going to be good. Some four Magnum ammos. I'm going to try using a Magnum on the Hunters. The problem is, you know, I think getting a fully powered shot in their mouth does optimal damage. So 
So where was that sick room? <sighs> you know, dating apps are, I mean, if you can get a dating app working for you, sure. But if you can't, what you want to do is just go somewhere where girls hang out. I don't really think, I don't know, man, like parties are a good place to go to. Bars as well. This guy's going to come alive. Parties, house party, bars, nightclubs. That's, that's kind of the staple. All right, this area is clean. So what did we get here? We got a, a big gunpowder. I think we got some explosive rounds. We got some, okay. So you don't have to come back into the hospital. You can just leave. Now let's jump down. But I like getting everything, you know? I, when I play these games, I like grabbing all the, the loot. I've got a, next time I play this, you know, the more, I don't need to ration shotgun shells as, as greatly. All right, let's see what we get in here. Normally you get the Magnum. I'm kind of wondering what the hell is inside of this mystery box. More Magnum. Okay, that's lame. Useful versus Nemesis later. You know, I was hoping that we'd get like some magnum parts. Hey, what's this? I think that's where we get the magnum parts from, huh? Something's over there. Something smells fishy. Fishy, fishy, son of a bitchy. You see this area? It's red for some reason. Why is that? It means there's an item here, but where the hell is the item? Hold on. Is there a respawn of an herb here? Oh boy. So any other resolutions for this year for you lovely gentlemen? I'm getting my ass back. Back to exercising. <laughs> it's pretty typical, huh? I really want to try out jujitsu though. The thing is, I think I'll try out jujitsu after... After I get my, my vaccine. Hey Yuri, good morning to you too. Wait, what? It's nighttime. You live, uh, I'm guessing... Aus... No, I think you told me where you lived. You lived somewhere in Europe, right? Started keto. I've tried keto myself. Um, I couldn't handle it. Like I would, I would, I was on one meal a day and I wasn't like eating a whole lot of carbs. So when, when you're on keto, you, you get that, that, that breath, that nasty breath. Your breath, your, you taste like you've been drinking alcohol all day too. This is like fruity vibe. What is this? And I, I, I couldn't get it working for me. I mean, I could, but I just, I didn't, I didn't like the, the side effects. Yeah. Oh, in the lab, there's an extra item and there's also another item here, but where is that? Yeah, diabetic, gotcha.
Life's a weird place, isn't it? This looks like Nikolai's work. Ah, Luxembourg. Gotcha. Want to visit Australia one day as a travel destination. You know, I hear a lot of people on Twitch say they want to visit Japan, although I don't have that urge personally. Visiting Australia, I think would be pretty cool. It's funny. I was watching a, a female streamer stream uh, fishing in Australia. And as she was fishing, you know, she's at her fishing location. More mag ammo. Ba -ba baby. They caught a shark. A oh, fucking Australians, man. They caught a shark. It's so Australian, man. And not only that, if you want to know, like, it, it, they went further to where they didn't just catch a shark, but they also put it on shore. They wrestled it down and took the hook out of its mouth. Super Australian. Those guys, man. That's such an Australian thing to do. Like, hold on, mate. I'm going to take the hook out of your mouth. Stop trying to bite me or I'll punch you in your dick. You fucking can. You're from England. I. All right. Bitch. You think that's going to fucking kill his ass? I'm not taking a, a, a chance. He's just going to get headshotted. That guy was fast as hell, man. Hi, crazy. It's treating me uh, pretty miserably, actually. It's kicking me in the dick. Um, that guy was super fast. You see how fast that guy's frame data was? That guy, it looked like... You ever watch a video in fast forward speed? It just, it looked like that. It looked like he was fast forwarded. I mean, I barely had time to dodge him there. Oh, this must be the way underground. Take some gunpowder, eh? Uh, oh look. No more lockpick, okay. What's next? Inferno knife only? Nah, oh, man. If I beat this on Inferno, I'll be a happy camper. And, you know, Inferno, I mean, the thing is, we haven't even gotten to the hardest part yet. The hardest part is Nemesis, the final battle, for sure. I beat this game on Nightmare Mode without any cheat items. And the entire game was like, eh, it's fine. You know, it's a good difficulty. Then all of a sudden, N Nightmare Mode, Nemesis comes up. And it completely changed everything. Hey, look, did they reuse this from uh, Remake 2? Look at the, the thing. That's at the end of Remake 2. I wonder if this entire elevator is just stolen from Remake 2. There's a, I hear there's a few English accents, right? There's a few different types of English accents. Some of them sound good to me. Some of them don't. I don't like every accent. I think my favorite, I've, I've said it before, I think my favorite accent is probably literally How is it no one in the hospital Australian. All this? And then maybe South African. Obviously, nobody on the planet will ever say that their favorite accent is the American accent. And I'm talking about like my accent, which it, to me doesn't, it sounds absurd saying that I have an accent, but of course I do. It's a basic bitch American accent. Then you got like the, uh, the southerner accent, you know, often used when you're referring to hillbillies. Like, ma, get off the dang roof. I done shot a squirrel. Gonna eat him tonight. I, I don't know why I butchered that accent right now. And then you've got like New Yorker accent. Like the Jersey accent. What else do you got? 
Those are like the three main ones, right? Is there any other accents that I, I'm thinking of in from America? You get the regular accent. Other than just like Valley Girl. There's like Valley Girl accent. Like, oh my God, Becky. And then she sucked his dick. Oh my God. I've been watching too much Danny Mullen. My, 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 my fucking vocabulary is stricken. With nothing but like expletives. All right. So there's an achievement here for beating this in a certain amount of time. And there's no typewriter here because God damn it. Why, why would they do that to me? Right. You know what? We'll use that Magnum ammo. My chick's American. I'm from Amer I'm from uh, California. Sorry, I'm from Northern California. Oh yeah, yeah. Boston accent is different too. I can't do it right now. Hey Loki, what's good, friend? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your pro, Oddler host. I'm your host, Oddler Pro. Yo, 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 Gingla. What's good, friend? Mm. Okay, there's an achievement when you beat this area in under five minutes. Oh, snap. Thank you, Gingla. Welcome with the, the prime, friend. We've been just about to do some blow. You can take the first sniff. I'm telling you, too much Danny Mullen right now. Anybody watch him on YouTube? The guy is a fucking mess. I've never seen anybody that was as edgy as that guy. Jeez. Uh, he specializes in offensive humor. Should we use grenade? Now we'll save that for Nemesis. Inland Iggy, yup. He got stomped out? What does that mean? I've been binge watching Danny, so. Binge watching. Just watching like four or five videos a day. Just clearing out his backlog of videos. They're really good. That guy's really good. He's really good. Really funny. And he goes that extra mile for that crazy content. Okay, we got plenty of, of mines for Nemesis. We're going to use a shotgun. Actually, should I maybe save? What would be optimal on Dog Nemesis? Magnum? Maybe I should save the Magnum for Dog Nemesis. The thing is, Grenade Launcher Ammo, I believe, stuns Dog Nemesis too. Dog Nemesis Part 2. I think Grenade Launcher stuns him, so that's always good, right? That sucks, dude. That sucks. What, was this on tape or was this like outside of YouTube? Because I haven't seen anything like that. Like I saw he, they got into a 4th of July brawl or something. <laughs> when you make like internet content where every one of your, your like your pranks almost ends in violence. I mean, you're pushing the envelope for sure. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Ouch. I feel bad for him. Well, at least, uh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to save the Magnum. I think we're going to go shotgun. I think we'll go shotgun. You know what? I will use a little bit of Magnum. Yeah, he does that often. Mr. That's Mr. Beast, man. I remember showing people some of his videos and people were like, who's Mr. Beast? People know who he is now. That was like a year or two years ago. I'm like, this guy was giving out Twitch viewers, Twitch streamers, a bunch of cash. It was crazy. Like, so what? Who cares? I don't really watch Mr. Beast anymore, but I definitely like the guy for sure. 
There's a few pale heads that I want to offer the Magnum. You know, I think Magnum best use on pale heads. We'll, we'll hold on to it. Combined with another explosive B to make acid rounds. Two acid rounds. That's so lame. A 40 hands video? That's funny. That guy makes some crazy content. You know, it's a little strange, Stromler. I watched his videos, like, I started binge watching him like a week ago or something, right? And I'll watch his videos now and I'll be like, this is normal. <laughs> I'll look at his antics, I'll be like, this is normal. But when I first watched it, my first reaction was, this guy's insane. But now I'm like, yeah, this is about normal. Isn't that crazy, huh? I'm not trying to say that it's normal, it's just you, you kind of do get used to it. Huh. Not in a bad way or anything. Alright, so we got two acid rounds. Alright, let's... Alright, I want to try doing this in under five minutes. So, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go quickly save. My goodness, it's far away. We haven't saved in a while, have we? I'm gonna go quickly save because this game doesn't want to be a save point here. I'm gonna go do the under five minutes to, to get all fuses in under five minutes challenge. So I'm gonna be very wasteful with my ammo just to, to try to get the, the fuses as quickly as possible. So let's see what the challenge is called. This is gonna be a, a bonus, I guess, here. Ooh, defeat 130 enemies with a shotgun. I'm almost at that, huh? I got eight more enemies left to kill. Defeat 80 enemies with a grenade launcher. Almost there. Defeat 120 enemies with a grenade launcher. I could probably do that if I just start spamming grenade launcher right now. Normally I save it for like nemesis and stuff. Defeat 80 enemies with the magnum. I should probably create a save file right now and just start unloading on enemies. Or maybe during further playthroughs I'll probably get it organically. I probably don't need to stress about it too hard. See, this is the one. It's called Electric Slide. Gather all the fuses in the warehouse within five minutes. So I'm going to make a save file here. And I'm going to use every bit of ammo that I have, like, super aggressively. And then maybe do it again more. Do it again a little bit less. I don't know why I want to say the way promiscuously. I don't think that's quite the word, but I think it does work. We're going to do it a little less wasteful. Why would you do it on Inferno? Eh. I think, um, eh, we'll see. I think it can be done. Especially if you're gonna recklessly abandon, kill everything. I think it can be done. The thing is, I'm not sure if it counted already. The fuse challenge. Because I did enter the, the room. I entered the room with the, the item box. And I'm not sure if that activates the challenge from happening or not. Or maybe I need to enter the next room. Oh no, to dogs. Right. So what I'm going to do here is save. And then we're going to grab every fucking item. Iron fence. We're going to cheat here. Salt coin. What's recovery coin do? Really? All right, let's pull out some mag shots. We don't need that. We just want the bad boys. We'll take some of this though, because I might be getting my shit pushed in.
Okay. And we'll put that there. I, got, I don't know why I'm such a neat freak when it comes to this inventory system in every Resident Evil game. I don't know why. You know, that doesn't work for me. Okay, that looks good. Alright, we got three full heals. Some regenerating coins. Anything else I should bring? Explosive rounds, maybe? We can leave that. All right, let's go. Let's go. Five minutes. Let's see if I get it. The thing is, I don't remember how to do this very well. It's the way she goes. Every time she hits the door. It's kind of strange. It's, I don't know why. It's so look weird looking. Okay, that one was normal. It's like she bashes it open with her head. All right, focus. How does that look? We are using double assault coins too. I've never really used these coins before. I'm really not into New Game Plus type items, you know? Although, I think when I played this game, it gave me uh, inventory, extra inventory or something, because this inventory is not normal. Like, I think I'm supposed to have like one, two, three, four and a half rows before it cuts off. I know in Remake 2, it was like four and a half. Sorry, it was three and a half. I think this is all DLC. New game plus inventory or something like that. All right, we got to rush. Five minutes. Start the countdown. You're fucking dead. I think he died in that first shot. Okay, that's the first one. Is there like some bad here <laughs> isn't there something bad here okay next time flame rounds on that fucker no way Next time, flame rounds. So first dude. A 
challenge of challenges doing this in five minutes. Man, I kind of want to hit up the beach IRL for an IRL stream, but it's like winter. I got this damn setup and I haven't used it a whole lot. And the thing is, every month I've got to pay 75 or $80 for the SIM card. And I think on the 18th, the data refreshes. So... From now between the 18th, I would kind of like to do. I think after this game, the thing is, I just wanted to finish this game. Finish this game and then maybe try out some IRL. I must admit, I respect your tenacity. But I'm afraid our game's end here. You think this is over? Because I need to test out that IRL setup, the uh, the SIM card, to see if it's worth it. It's not perfect, though. I think if I were to use unlimited IRL, I mean, you do have to pay twice as much. But I think the connection's a little bit more stable. All right, let's make sure we kill this fucker. This guy thought it was funny he ate me. Hey, asshole. Okay, that dude's dead. How convenient. Everything here is being destroyed. Ha <laughs> Oh, I think I did the wrong thing there. Um. Is it still raining? Uh, it was, yeah, raining today. It was raining up until the afternoon and then around uh, two o'clock it stopped in the, in the uh, whatever. So I took a walk at like five or something. You know, well, let's test out this Magnum here. I think it's a hunter. Did I forget the first fuse, guys? Like a dumbass? I did, didn't I? I forgot the first fuse. I went up there. I was so hyper focused on killing that a dick that killed me earlier maybe i can recover maybe i've got some time maybe it's not that hardcore man i would have took a, a one hour walk in in darkness you got to get shit done though you know where do i go now Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. You know, I missed one fuse. And I'm not sure if I'm going to recover from that. We'll try, though. Maybe I have some spare, spare time.
I have a feeling that that might have been R.I.P. the fact that I completely... We'll see. It's not too far away. It's not too much of a backtrack, is it? So it took two magnum shots to kill that hunter, but it wasn't a headshot. It was like a body shot and then another body shot. Or maybe a body shot and a headshot, and none of them was like really fully focused. I kind of wonder. I kind of wish another hunter would come up so I can kind of... Let's hope that's not too much of a backtrack. All right. Where the hell did that... Here goes. I didn't think I had the space for that. Did it just auto-delete something from my inventory? Right, I'm gonna test this out. Let's see if I if I hit that five minute mark. I mean, I feel like it should have been at this Shit. point. He got away. Let's quickly look at the records. Zombie exterminator. Defeat fourteen hundred enemies. Okay, I just randomly got that right now. What was the one called? Something slide. Electric slide, I didn't do it. All right, let's try that again. I'm committed to it. I'm committed. <clears throat> you don't need all of this, let's be real. You know, I get to try out the Magnum again on that uh, Hunter, though. Would you have liked a DLC for this game other than the costumes? Um, they don't have mercenary mode in this game, do they? That's something to complain about. They didn't put mercs in this game, did they? I think a mercenary mode would have been good. Because the original had a mercenary mode, right? It had, you know, Nikolai with his handgun and his knife. It had Mikhail with Jesus Christ. Entire arsenal. He could fight, like... could fight a small militia. Get a magnum, a shotgun, and a rocket launcher. Could you need any... Do you need anything else? Any of, like, two full heals? And Carlos was a little in the middle. He kind of sucked, let's be real. Carlos was kind of crappy. He had a machine gun. Not sure what else he needed. I think he's dead. I've got two assault coins. I mean, if he doesn't die from that, I'd be surprised. I must admit, I respect your tenacity, but I'm afraid our games end here. Ugh, you think this is over? But I think maybe a mini game mode where you play as like Tyrell or whatever his name is would have been not a mini game, but like a sub scenario would have been nice. Tyrell's kind of a likeable, likeable dude in this game. Um, in the original, you do see Tyrell, but he, he, you see him one time and he dies immediately. Okay. 
You see him in the hospital. Nikolai kills him or, or Tyrell explodes. You know, the safe that's inside of the wall in the hospital that explodes and kills Tyrell. Tyrell opens up the safe and just explodes in his face. Or he gets shot by Nikolai. We got five minutes to do this. I think we got time. I think I know what I, I needed to do, so it'll go a little bit faster. Got two flame rounds left for that. That sucker. You know, on hardcore, there was like two sets. There was like zombies in here, and then you were getting sandwiched by uh, this guy. And I thought that was an. I thought that was an interesting mechanic. I kind of liked it, to be honest. I thought it was an interesting mechanic where you've got zombies coming from the left, and then you've got this big guy to the right, and you had to kill the zombies fast enough. All right, let's go. Oh, I've got assault coins. I don't, I think maybe the Magnum might take two shots to kill a hunter. All right, here goes. I mean, that was a shoulder shot, but. I think maybe shotgun is optimal on hunters, man, because you don't need to be ultra precise. Yeah. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, we got achievement unlocked. Electric slide. And that was also an, an achievement, too. That was also worth an achievement. Look, electric slide achievement. Gather all the fuses in the warehouse within five minutes. I didn't realize it was an in-game achievement and an outside game achievement, too. So now that we're done, let's do it one more time, but without wasting the whole ammo thing. That'll be that'll be good. All right. Without wasting ammo. Have they patched out it completely? Are you talking about the sandwich between um, the Gamma and, and the three... The three zombies that were in there? Is that what you're referring to? Um, I don't know. I guess it's on Hardcore or on Inferno. It's just not there. But I, I kind of liked it. I thought it was an interesting dynamic. For a little fight zone. You're kind of sandwiched. You got to kill this guy fast. So that you can fight the other guy. Otherwise they overwhelm you. But you know it's fair right? They give you enough time. That's the thing though. It's not like. There isn't enough time to do it. Where it would be like lame right? You're just being overwhelmed. They give you enough time. So that you don't have to get overwhelmed. And that's what makes it a good dynamic. In my opinion. Just not here. And then you just fight the, the, the Gamma with, with some dogs. I don't think the dogs existed with the Gammas on like Hardcore, did they? I think it was just a Gamma. Or maybe one dog. I don't remember. Fuck me. Anybody played this game recently? Uh, we're going to use our handgun. I'm going to use uh, the Lightning Hawk on the Pale Heads. Nikolai. 
Nice to meet you, sir. That guy's dead. That's lame. And this guy doesn't hear any of that. I mean, didn't see any of that. My goodness. I F and B gamer guy. How's it going? A COVID viru virus viral? Eh, maybe they, they don't die from it. It, it. There's only like what, like a, like a few percentage chance that you die from it. But like on a scale of the, a global scale, it's going to just destroy do a lot of damage, right? Let me see what. So these guys. That's lame. Okay. I must admit, yeah, I, I saw that trombler. His me too accusation was was really lame too. He typed in the comment section of some girls' videos like you would you want you want my dick or something like that, and then he got a me too accusation off that, which I just think is. You know, saying something like that is not nice or whatever, but like having that become something that's going to scar you for life is, is beyond silly. It's talking. I mean, that that's like like executing people to jaywalk. You know, the punishment is way more severe than it should be. By like, it's just stupid. I don't know. It's stupid. That's, that's the world we live in right now where people are getting punished, like executed, like ostracized socially for, for crimes that things that are not good, but like the punishment is so severe in this day and age. I don't know what I think about this guy dying. You dead, bro? Oh, nice. You died off that. I don't know if that was worth it, though. I, I, I used the flame round to get 12 handgun bullets. RE6 is full of stupid scripted zombies, which you can't hurt. I don't remember. I played the game a few times, and each time I play it, I try to wash the memory of it out of my, my, my brain. Ay ay ay. Oh nice. Oops. All right, so there's a door here. Hold on. Um I think there's a red herb around the corner as well. I guess they removed the red herb. There was like a red herb here last time I remember. Maybe it was on that side. Eh, we'll f we'll, f we'll we'll do without it. We don't need that much health anyway. Last boss it kills you. <laughs> a last boss legitimately will insta kill your ass. Health is not going to be a factor very soon. I want your ass, bitch. Oh, two for one. You want to get as many knife swings while he's falling down. I don't trust any of these fucks. Unlock. We got a hunter. Should I kill the hunter or should I just run from him? I think running. Unless he jumps over that later on and terrorizes me in a little bit. I think running is probably the better thing to do. We'll see. Because he does run past you. He jumps past you here. 
I don't think we have to kill this guy. I'm gonna use a knife because I think it has a good knockback if I get a dodge in. See? You think that was optimal? Unless he terrorizes me in a little bit. So I think personally, this little area here, this little fun house they've got going in this game is, is also interesting. This little like, I don't know how to explain it. This little fetch quest that they have here. Hi, Wild. What's up, man? Hey, guys. You know, she streams, right? I met hey, guys, in real life. She's a nice person. Hey, guys. All right, we got. All right, here goes. Okay, let's try to murder these guys. Did I get them all? Look at that! Look at how many dogs they, they send after you, man. How many dogs was that? Four dogs? And because I didn't shoot that guy in the mouth, he's he's gonna come after me pretty aggressively. Gypsy? She just looks nothing like Gypsy. Wait, there's nothing in here? I should have just ran. I like killing stuff too, right? And there's plenty of ammo. The most important ammo for the last boss is handgun ammo. Isn't that silly? So I think in the future, what, what mode should I play this game on? Unless I become like super beast at RE3. Or I don't have to die a million times. Or need to save a million times. Let's grab that one thing here. Two. You know, I like to play on the hardest difficulty for Resident Evil games, but this game, it really, it, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. So I'd have to practice the last boss a whole lot. Plus some of the areas in this, in this, uh, in this mode are, can be kind of clinchy. Like the beginning of the game is kind of tough. I mean, I, I stood there for like three hours dying on the first save. But then again, I was kind of learning how it worked. Right, so we got that, that, that. I think this gun is good on pale heads. How does this look? I'm going to save that. As always, the last boss is a pain in the dick. So having a nice supply of handgun ammo is good. I'm probably done using my handgun. I'm probably going to mostly use shotgun. Plenty of shotgun shells. Let's dump some. Yeah, isn't that crazy? The... What was it called again? The line gun? 
No, it wasn't called the line gun. That was something else. Was the plasma gun? I don't remember. Anybody remember that? What the gun was named? Yeah, but it's crazy. That thing just it, it decimated things. Although, I'm a firm believer, actually. I know that gun was strong, but I'm telling you, the machine gun in Dead Space 1 was better. The machine gun in that game, it was better. Nobody believed me, but I've, I'm telling you. Everyone said that the starting gun was the best gun in the game. I'm like, no, 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 no. The machine gun. It dismembered things like... It was like a faster version of uh, of the, uh, the line cutter. What the hell was it called? It's on the tip of my tongue, man. Secondary fire was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Where he just shoots everywhere? Nah, 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 nah. That was the fake stuff. All right, let's go. All right, let's see if I can... Hey. Let's see if these guys are alive now. Yep. Look at that. Five FPS they run at. All right. 30 FPS. I don't know if that was 30, man. That was like maybe 10. 10 maximum. But that's not, you know, usually what happens in a lot of games. Not a lot of games. Some games where they're really far off into the distance, their FPS is lowered. To, uh, for game performance sake or something. Alright, so I've got a... Is there any more gammas? I mean, his feet are on fire. That might, might kill him eventually. Ha 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 ha! All right, that stops them from turning into those damn zombies. Those tentacle nemesis zombies. Let's go. Done, son. So I like this little area here. I thought it was it was neat. This little area was neat for for remake. Sucking dick. I need this. Bada bing. Damn, that still doesn't take up two inventory slots either. Is there another upgrade for the Magnum leader or what? I mean, it's still only one slot. In Remake 2, it took up two slots. I think I'm good off that. We're gonna use nothing but shotgun from now on. Yeah, definitely. I, I also agree. I share that sentiment. There should have been more city stuff. And the city stuff was a little... I did feel... Like... The city in remake or in the original Resident Evil, it felt like a It felt like an open world environment, right? In this game it wasn't. Give me a sec here. Um All right, so what should we bring? 
Got 41 handgun rounds. That's going to be good. If I can get 100 or something for the last boss, I'll enjoy that. Because I don't want to pick up any items during the boss fight. There's going to be some health. There's going to be a grenade at the last boss fight. I don't know why they put a grenade at the last boss fight when grenades are like damn near useless there. Like, here's a grenade. Hmm. High grade gunpowder. Mag ammo. I think we're a-okay. Let's uh, save it up. Save it up. Tyrone. Tyrell. Hello. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. They'll call off the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. I forget what part is next. I mean, we got a quick time cutscene thingy. What part is after this, though? Sure, you don't need to stop. Stop and do what? I got your back. You know, there's no water purification right. test in this game, is there? It's done. to him first. Isn't his mission to kill stars? Nice little shower. I need one of those when I leave my house, man. Save me some goddamn time. Just sterilizes you. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think this area is a little too small. This umbrella lab here. So they don't put a save room here for some reason. Why not? Like, what would be the harm if they put a god dang save room here? There's been no actual gameplay between uh, this area and the last area. It's like all they did, like, I'm going to have to watch a cutscene again if I die, right? Run a little bit. It didn't, there's no actual challenge and not, they should just put a save here. Call me crazy, right? All right, let's go find those goddamn zombies. You're dead. Yeah. 
choice. Oh, you bastard! I think, I think when you see the smoke coming out of his body, it means he's alive. I took four shots of this and that's lame. Where did he even come from? My goodness. I do need to get those acid rounds I made because I think they handle liquor or the, the hunters coming up. Plus I need another full heal. That dick, man. That's the thing about third person games. Like you ever play like a third person shooter that's like a, I don't know, like Metal Gear Online or like The Last of Us where they're third person games. People can ambush you pretty easily in third person like competitive shooters. on you homie nothing okay Let's see if there's any goodies in here for me to grab Gotta make it myself. Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Override key removed. Okay, I think this area is done. I see an open vent there. Well, I feel like this area is a little too simple. I don't know why. I think this final lab is just a little too simple. It's somewhat, it feels somewhat linear to me. Hi. All right, bucko. Ha! Huh. I was hoping for two, two headshots. I, it was like the, there was a tiny window there where I could have got two headshots. Look at this guy. Come on, bro. Oh my goodness. Wasting Magnum shots hurts you. It hurts your soul. He's over here trying to like dodge and weave my ass. Could have swore somebody dropped down from here. Maybe it was the zombie that I killed earlier. Oh, look at that. Buddy. I 
kind of wish those pale heads would insta kill you. It's a little strange that I want pain like that. Ooh. Another enemy around here somewhere. Maybe it was a zombie. Is it? About to see these damn things later too. Oh yeah, we're about to see him later. Inferno playthrough hasn't even started as far as I'm concerned. I forgot to get a full heal. Luckily, this first aid spray has got me covered. Plus an herb, too. I think there are maniacs for making this room, by the way. When the enemies come out... You got to fight three of them at once. It's raw, man. But I think these acid runs will get me covered. Look at all these derp tyrants. Derp. about that I mean this one forgot to he skipped leg day it's got these big ass titties too man eating those soybeans Alright, let's shock in the shit out of these guys. Anyone else? I swear to gosh, man. I was like stun locked in that. That is so lame. That is so beyond stupid. Unlocked. Sorry, we can just zoom past this. This way. So I got hit by that one pale head. I guess I get to keep that first aid we'll now that it's coming. Come on, bro, let's go. How come he gets to run and I can't? That's how we're gonna. Sure, you don't need to stop. Stop and do what? What's up, Gypsy? I got your back. All right. Let's get this done. All righty. He's already dead. Try this again. Give it a second try. So where did that first pale head come from? He grabbed me around the corner. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, there's my bro. Bad gypsy. Bad. Putting you in timeout. Putting you in timeout. Man, I'm hungry though. 
tell you that much. And your goals aren't super defined yet, Gypsy. I, have, I was gonna be needing to hassle you, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Some people that haven't really been talking inside of the group either. To begin vaccine synthesis. I haven't said a damn thing. Some people haven't said a damn thing in there. Questioning their synthesis. I have to make it myself. Their commitment levels. All right. Did they eat? Yeah. Override key. All right. Aiden's doing pretty good. I think he's got the most amount of commitment to it. I plan to outperform everybody, though. I'm going to outperform everybody because I like competition. Need some more competitive guys there. Nothing gets me going. It, like, I'm telling you, once my ego is involved... I get fired up. Do it, Gypsy. I'll be happy. I'll be proud of you. Don't BS me, though. I'll be like, I did it, and you're like sitting on your couch. I can't. I can't verify that, so I just have to take everybody's word for it. Unfortunately. You should definitely do it. I went out in, in pure darkness. What time is it? 10, 11 almost? Because it was raining earlier. All right, so... Put that away. Hmm... So shotgun didn't work on that area. I kind of wonder. Maybe I should use grenades. I don't even have a grenade. Go for it. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Unless you fucking strap your phone to your dog and then, I don't know, kick it so it runs away from you. I'm sure there's ways you could fake it too, by the way. So you don't have a dog. <laughs> Dog go. That's what people used to do when they were playing Pokemon Go. That's that's what people did, would, would do when they played Pokemon Go. They would have their phones strapped to the dogs and they would just let their dog wander around the city. So they would get like mileage on their, their walking to hatch their eggs. Good old Pokemon Go. Anybody play that game? Alright, let's go. Don't die this time. Uh, that was a great way. Like back in 2016, I got down to like a, 155 pounds. Lol. Wow, this thing fucks him up. Dead. Motherfucker. That guy ate a ton of shells, but shells are, are going to be useless very soon. Hi. Oh, my Lord. 10 miles a day. Oh, man, I messed up my, my feet playing Pokemon Go. Um, I, I got like a really severe type of... Uh, at first I thought it was plantar fasciitis, but it wasn't. It was uh, Achilles tendinitis. So my basically my Achilles heel after playing Pokemon Go stupidly too much, basically. I was so addicted to that game, I had pain in my feet and I just kept walking. to keep catching my Pokemon and I did that for like a month. I wouldn't let myself heal. 
Oh boy. I had, uh, I was like, I was a maniac, man. I would play eight hours a day. So part of me was losing weight. Part of me was, I was just severely addicted to that game. It was, uh, it was definitely something. Put it that. I got to 155 pounds that day. And then I moved out of Arizona and I moved closer to my parents. Actually, I lived at their place for, I don't know, maybe a year. As I, I kind of was settling back in California life. They got a big place. And I started eating their food. And the thing is, that's a no-no for me. Like, if, right now I live alone. But I often go to my parents' house and they've got junk food galore. Oh, it's not good, man. If I see junk food, I'll probably eat it. So it's super crucial that I... I, I don't have that around me, you know? Like, a good strategy is just to not be around junk food. Like right now, I've got nothing in my fridge except peanut butter and cans of La Croix. Taco Bell, yeah. I actually became a Taco Bell addict in Arizona. That's where it started. Back then, I never ate fast food. So it wasn't until 2016 where I started eating fast food on a regular basis. And then I just kind of blew up. So I kind of want more shock and shells. I'm going to go back for more shock and shells. I don't really trust this area here. We'll be back. I don't want to use Magnum. I want to use Magnum on Nemesis. Shock and shells, we'll, we'll use those because they're somewhat useless in my, in my opinion. I wouldn't say useless, but like towards the end of the game, shock and shells become ass. But Pokemon Go, yeah, I totally played the crap out of that game. I had... You know what was great in Arizona? There was basically no water. Arizona is a desert. So getting water-based Pokemon was like rare. And having Dragonites back then was super rare too. I'm talking 2016 when it was in at, at its prime. Like I went, I, I, I went to uh, San Francisco for a little bit. Cause, uh, I went on vacation or something. I think I spent three days or something or a few days in, in San in back in California. I think it was like, it was Christmas weekend or something like that. So spending time with the family, right? They lived in California. I lived in Arizona. And, uh, during that time I decided to not spend any time with my family and just go play Pokemon Go in San Francisco at the pier. And cat, I go just catching Dratinis for like 12 hours a day or something crazy like that. And then I had like four Dragonites when I went back to Arizona. Everybody. I used to play with like a group of people. You know, do meetups and stuff for the game. You can go, you could easily find meetups for your team. If you had like Team Instinct or whatever. Team whatever, Valor, Mystic. You could find other teammates to go play with. And we would go raid. I mean, we had like 30 people and we'd go raid downtown Arizona. And we would just destroy all the gyms. We would destroy all the gyms and we just painted the town yellow because that was my team back then was the yellow team which is usually the most hated team if there's any if there's ever a yellow team in any video game it becomes the the black sheep of that game i think of fall guys if you played fall guys it's like the yellow team nobody wanted to be on the yellow team spoofing no i didn't no i didn't spoof i was uh it's kind of like right now think about it right now trommler I could be using these iron defense coins and playing playing kind of an illegitimate game in my opinion. It's like I don't want to. Like I like playing playing the hard way. Just it's just a little bit more fun for me, you know. It's funny cuz I had my little cousin, he was a spoofer, and he caught more Pokémon than me after playing the game for 1 week. And I was playing for like 3 months or something straight, and I had like I don't know a hundred Pokemon caught, and that was like a lot or something. And my cousin's like, yeah, I beat the game. I caught all the Pokemon that you could possibly catch, even the ones that are in Europe and Asia. Like, what the hell? He was like 10 years old or something, too. That's my little cousin. Uh, 
Um, right. But those were fun days. You'll never get another game like Pokemon Go, man. If you, if you didn't actually play that game back then, during its prime, and go out and, like, rage, I'm telling you, man, it feels like a missed opportunity. Everywhere you go, people were playing it. They were If you saw them looking down at their phone, they're like, oh, that guy's playing it. Like, that was definitely something. Well, here, fuck you. Yeah, for sure. I used to play it from time to time. I'm telling you, you can make friendships and make enemies in that game. Like, local friendships with random people and, like, also hate people, too. It's like, I just, like, I just got done building a gym. All right, I'll tell you something crazy. Like, one time, the, when I was playing, on the last few days I was playing it, like, last month or something I was playing it, I had just moved back to California. And, uh... There was no Team Instinct players. The community in California where I lived was dead compared to, to Arizona. For some reason. And um, I didn't have any teammates I could go out with. So it was like me versus the world because there was no yellow team. Team Instinct. It was just me versus the world. I, I couldn't capture any gyms. I would destroy... I would single-handedly wreck the shit out of every level 10 gym by myself. And I would build it up to level 10 as well, but the only person that put Pokemon in the gym was me. So there was no other players that were like, all they had to do, they didn't have to do anything. All they had to do was drop their Pokemon inside of the gym because every slot was open. I opened it up. So I fought and fought and fought and fought and all other players had to do. The battlefield was already won. All they had to do was occupy the gym with me and there was no players. And it was just such a bummer playing. But I was just saying, uh, yeah, there was three gyms inside of uh, my local graveyard. And as a degenerate, I definitely would go to the gym, the three gyms that were located in, in a graveyard. And I would take my car in there and I would just destroy everything. I mean, um, completely annihilate those gyms. I destroyed level 10 gyms that had been there for for ages. I would always come back when I when I came to California. I'm like, that gym hasn't moved. Like, it was just one of those gyms that just stayed there forever. Nobody had touched any of those gyms in in months. Nobody challenged those gyms until I came, and I single-handedly blasted them to pieces. And I put all my Pokemon in there. I destroyed their gym, put it level 10. And I remember being at inside of the, inside of the graveyard with my car, and I remember seeing another car drive up behind me as I had destroyed these ancient gyms and I saw some guy and his dad they were like part of the red team and they started destroying my gym right behind me and we both looked each other in the eye like we knew that we were fighting each other in the game and uh it got to a point the thing is I could destroy their gyms faster than they could build it up at, basically so it was a losing contest because you can destroy gyms faster than, than you could build them up. And I just kept destroying them. I stayed there for a few hours. We just stayed there for a few hours locked in combat. We would go from, there was three gyms at the graveyard. Talk about degeneracy. And we would just drive from gym to gym. I would just, I would destroy all of them. And it got to a point toward the final days of me playing where I had realized that there's no way I could hold a gym because there's no players in my region. There's no yellow team in my region. So what I did is I destroyed all three of their gyms. The guys fucked off eventually. In fact, no, it, it got to a point where, um, uh, where the graveyard was closing. It was like five minutes to closing. I actually lost that one, didn't I? And the guy stayed in there longer than I did. He was more of a degenerate than I was. He didn't run for that long, Dipsy. It's been like 10 minutes. But he stayed in... While uh, the graveyard was closing, he stayed in there longer than me. I felt like, you know, 
I had to respect when the, the thing was closing. They didn't. They didn't give a shit. So he he ended up destroying my my gym, unfortunately. But like I knew I couldn't I couldn't carry it. All right, that guy's dead. How do I kill these guys? Nice. Bitch! Got you, got you, got you, got you. You stay down, asshole. I should have got headshots, but his his head was buried deep in this other guy's ass. The Nemesis Project. So it's called the Nemesis. I like that line. All right, all right, all right. Those were some crazy days playing Pokemon Go, I'm telling you. An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. If you guys missed out on that, I'm telling you. It's funny because I remember talking to a waitress at a at a video game bar in Arizona. And me and my friends were, were there and we were just, you know, I guess having a fun night. And I remember talking to her. I'm like, we're playing Pokemon Go. And I remember her look on her face. Of absolute disgust. <laughs> she looked at me as if I had just told her that I had like AIDS. And wanted nothing to do with me at that point. And I, I don't think that, that that was necessary. Like the game was really fun in its prime. You really missed out if you didn't play that game in its prime. Alright, we got to Alright, assholes. Damn, there's a third one. I swear to God, move, I will kill you. That one's dead for sure, but this one. Oh, he's not dead. Fuck, man. Four in one area. Talk about mean. Every single one of those capsules exploded. They should have unleashed the derp tyrants. That would have been funny. Like, Aah! as they like charge you. That would have been hilarious. Four hunters is just mean. I think it'd be funny if they unleashed these guys. It's funny because um, I remember when that waitress came up to me. She wasn't dressed like a waitress. She came up to me and she just started talking to me. I'm like, what the fuck is she talking to me for? You know, people don't just come up and talk to me. It's just, it's not a thing that happens. It, it's just not something that really happens to men very often, right? And I'm just like, yeah, we were just making small talk or something. And she wanted me to order. It, it didn't occur to me that she was a waitress. So we were just awkwardly talking there for a while until I, I can't remember. I don't remember what happened, but it was very like, why are you talking to me? All right. So what do we have next? I think we cut scene. Okay. I'm out of shotgun shells. Let's reload this thing, huh? Alright, I'm pretty happy about this. 
Let's mix that, mix that. Okay, got 58 handgun bullets. That, that's pretty good for the last boss. Uh, we got the antigen. What's up next? We do the antigen, and then what, where do we go after that? I think it's the, the cutscene where you have to run away from Nemesis a little bit. I don't remember. We got no shoddy, though. Plenty of health, though. How does this look? All right, let's just go. I feel a little weird. I'm going to have to... Ah, the no shotgun. Like, what if we find a zombie? Could take my handgun. Waste some of my last boss ammo. I don't know what, what's coming up. Let's just hit it up, man. I don't remember where we go. We put the antigen thingy in there and then, and then where do I go? I, it's, it's a blank. All I know is it's, it's cutscene time where you've got to hold the W button and not mash it the way the game tells you to mash it. By the way, Gypsy, make sure your goals are well-defined. Um, is this the new water puzzle? So this is kind of like a water puzzle. Not really. This is so much more bare bones and simple. For fuck's sake. Okay, mid, high, low. There we go. I think the water puzzle in the original was better though. But this is fine too. I mean, it's kind of a silly little puzzle, but. Oh, that's right. We go into a vent, right? Oh, this looks really stupid. Look at this. Look at her face as she does that. Come on. Okay, this is why I couldn't remember where to go, because the cutscene pretty much ejects you into the next area. Alright. So how much more shit is there? I think this is the last save room, isn't it? That's if they put a, a typewriter in there on Inferno. Uh, wouldn't that be horrible if they didn't? Oh, God. All 
All right, check this out. For some stupid reason, the game tells you to spam the W button. When in fact, all you have to do is hold it. So many deaths happened here on my first playthrough before a viewer told me you have to hold the button. It's so dumb. I think right now would have been a great time to button mash, right? Are your plans to relocate? Yep. Uh, I was going to start a business there with my dad and another business partner and then COVID kind of fucked that up pretty hard to the point where it's just like, meh. And I really didn't want to do it anyway, so I'm pretty happy. Although I'm pretty sure that would have been really good too, if I would have. Eh, it's whatever to me. The flame rounds, like they're good. Sure, sure. I mean, nobody likes to button mash, but like from a game development standpoint, right? That like in an area like that, that's where button mashing <coughs> it should have been. It's like as you're trying to get away, I don't see any more of this. Did I miss one in? earlier because I've got this and nothing to mix it with. Hmm. Alright, I guess I guess maybe maybe we'll get another one later. Alright, this is the time to use the Magnum. And, and, and all these grenades. My goodness, I've got grenades for days. How badly do I need a knife? I want to get some health. I don't think I need a knife. I don't think there's any containers to explode down there. Like, there are items you can pick up, but I don't think there's containers, so... We can maybe drop this. I don't need it anymore, maybe. I know I, I get some shotgun shells down there. And that'll be good for the boss, right? How does this look? Oh, I could use... The thing is, do I really need the shotgun? Nah. I've got flame rounds. Maybe that would be good for... Alright. So I've got grenades. What grenades should I use first is the question. Uh, let's just spam these. I think it's pretty good on them. All right, let's save it up. Last save. No, second last save. I keep forgetting about that last room. All right, let's go, fellas. Ladies and gents, boys and girls. The best boss fight again. For a second time. This is going to be an easy fight. Except for the zombies which do kind of add as a, as a mix up. What's a good way to shoot those containers anyway? I just, I, I, I never really use these acid containers. Or the electricity generators. On Nemesis. I just blasted the shit out of him in most playthroughs. He's got a tail. Isn't that strange? Like, dog form nemesis has a tail. Why did he grow a tail? Oh, what do we have here? 
Nikolai, don't! The city needs that vaccine! More than I do. I don't think the wisdom I've been trying to impart on you is getting through. Now I know you can't put a price on life. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat art. Put on a good show and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. I mean, this wrecks him. Nice one. That hit stun is real. Oh, you son of a bitch. I wonder if this is the best strat for him, like... No, you don't. I mean, this is, seems a bit excessive, don't, doesn't it? Okay, he's down. Jill, is that you? Carlos? You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. All right, we're gonna use the Magnum now. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. What the hell happened there? Yeah. 
Yeah, that was bad. Motherfucker! No way. Can you believe how much ammo that guy sponges? There has to be a better strategy for that guy than just... The thing is, I probably should heal too. My guy, we're on caution. Zombie. The most deadly biological weapon. Doing what Nemesis couldn't do. We're going to use flame rounds for a little bit. Flame rounds are a little weird. I don't think they stun him. Plus it does, uh, you know, dot damage. Oh, that stuns him for sure. killing this guy with a flame round one time. down Joe, he died so quick from that what a bitch you're okay let me spot for you good idea oh you're definitely running like a puss You know what pisses me off? That. Oh, my titties. Wow, that's an insta-kill, huh? So what did I learn from that? I wonder if I could drop this. We don't need it. Haha, <laughs> that'd be weird if the cutscene actually... It'd be weird if you could do that and have it... The cutscene still have it pop out of her. So I think flame rounds are really effective on this guy. Sure, you do have to dodge a little bit. But that was pretty effective. Wait for that fire to go down. There we go. Yeah, I remember. I mean, it's the same thing every game for me. Go ahead. He's dead. Look, he fucking died from that, you bitch. Jill, is that you? Carlos?
flame rounds. Literally, I'm glad he hit me rather than the zombie. A zombie would have killed me in one shot. Zombies aren't fucking around. Oh no! We're on full HP. That's an insta kill on this. That's an I that's an insta kill. You know, it's the zombies that make this fight hard. It's not Nemesis himself, it's the zombies. So it's interesting that the flame rounds do work on him. I gotta remember that. I'll never remember it. <laughs> I'll never remember it. Flame works do some work on him though. But he didn't catch on fire from that? The hit stun is amazing, though. Unbelievable. Slap my ass. Pretty sure he's gonna fucking die from that. Give me the goddamn... Joe, is that you? I'll never use them. How did I miss that? You can't dodge while you're... Now you're stunlocked, buddy. Fucking A. He's hiding behind take one. Number one. I'm getting the hell away from that zombie. How dare you? Got some more incoming. That's not who I wanted to use the Magnum on. What do we have in here? We have a... Uh, 
we have mines. That was bad. That was a worse shot. Bad time to reload. No way. Can you believe that combo? I mean, and I was running in mode there too, by the way. You know, I probably should. I probably should bring my shotgun. I feel like. What should I drop? Health? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All right, so shotgun. We're gonna get some ammo for it. Sixteen shells or something. That's nothing to just. If I have that, I can kill the zombies. You know. So. All right, let's switch up the. That's it, right? All right, let's go. Reload the shoddy. I don't have any ammo for it. I don't have any ammo for it until we get downstairs. And then I'm going to they'll, they'll give me like 16 shots of that bad boy. Let's just find it. Reloading is a bad thing in this game. Uh, perfect. We got. We have all the items. Oh, he's dead. Look at that. I'm telling you. Can you believe how good the, the flame rounds are on this guy? It's stupid. And I put in like how many. Okay, explosive was obviously garbage on this guy. So what's... What the hell are the explosive rounds good for in this game? It's good on him, I think, on the rooftop fight. How's the game been going? Uh, bullshit. Bullshit. Can you say bullshit, kids? I know I can. How did you not die? Of course. Let's hope that set the other assholes on fire too. Fucking heal you insta kill. I 
That's an insta kill. You gotta love insta kills in games, man. It's the pinnacle of fairness. Then again, this is Inferno mode, so I guess there's some sort of logic to it, maybe? Not in my eyes, man. Fuck that. Take that shoddy out again. Here we have it. Got two spaces. I mean, I can't believe how good flame rounds are on this guy that I'm, I'm guessing maybe acid rounds might be better on him, too. Who knows? It's a bad puppy. You gotta be careful when you're reloading, though. Here. Die to that. Jill, is that you? Carla? Hold on. You know what bugs me is the, the zombies. It, it really pre pre prevents you from, from... From dealing damage to this guy because you, you can't really focus... Like right now he's going to blow up on that mine. But the zombies keep me from really focusing on him. even the hard battle either like this isn't even where the challenge starts the challenge is actually the next boss This guy is such a bullet sponge. My dick. This isn't good. Uh Yeah, I was reloading there. Jill is, that you? Jill, is that you? Yes, it's me. Fuck off, Carlos. Can't you see I'm fighting a goddamn monster? Oh. 
Look, he's just, let me leave. What do we have? You know what? I'm just going to save those settings. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. Did it hit me? You're dead, buddy. Jill, is that you? I don't know why. Jill, is that you? <laughs> so flawless. You're hyped for the village? Apparently it comes out, what, April? Has there been any official announcement for the village? Any official announcements? In terms of like its release date, besides the whole Capcom leak that happened back in like September or something. I haven't played Dragon's Dogma 1, I wouldn't mind. Oh, you bastard. All right, enjoy death very soon, buddy. Go through him.
got three shots off of him. Oh, come on while I'm reloading. Oh, while I'm reloading. It's not fair. It's not fair. Why wow, I'm reloading? Reloading OP on this damn grenade launcher, man. Switching rounds, you've got to like re unreload your gun too. And it takes like a million seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why it takes her so long to start reloading as well. Oh. Hey, what's he doing? Jump on that one. Watch it, you've got company. Oh, you bastard. I just don't need to get the fuck away from him. Here comes some more. Nice, nice, nice. Reloading, fuck you. Here, let's use fire rounds on him. He's not flinching from these anymore. I think I got him off that. From the top rope. You know, it's it's the reloading from this grenade launcher that's really getting me killed a lot. Because you can't dodge when you're reloading. And you've got to switch between different ammos.
playing Dragon's Dogma? Um, I might. I might play the original. I mean, how long do you think it takes to beat that game? You're gonna die, buddy. Right fucking ammo in there. Can you believe this guy? Am I the only one seeing this shit? I can't be the only one seeing this horse shit going on. She won't reload right now. Like, I'm spamming reload after the shot. Oh, God. I'm spamming reload right now. It's not reloading. Ahab, I knew him well. I don't know why. Shakespeare popped up in my head. This is just a Shakespearean battle. Ammon, reload!
Thank goodness. He died right as he was going to attack me while I was reloading. Hit these guys. Okay, that's it for that shit. Thank you. Oh my god, I looked away for one second. Where'd he go? Yeah, I knew it. Kill this guy too, please. How did he miss? Number six. I got this. Fucking zombies, man. Just keep respawning on me. Like, I wonder if it's worth it to just make Carlos do the acid thing. I wonder if that does more damage. As far as I'm concerned, these grenade rounds suck. What should I do here? I need a good plan. All these magnum rounds is... Shoddy's good for... Shoddy's just such a waste. All these zombies are stupid, man. Like, it's such a stupid last battle with this guy. Or second last battle. It's just dumb. Not only did they recycle it, they just added more enemies to it to make it harder. Like, different environment. Eh. Grab another mixed. All 
right, let's try it out again. I'm going to try the acid thingy. It's not easy because the thing is you have to be looking backwards. That's a good point. You have to be looking backwards to see Nemesis. But the zombies could be in front of you. I mean, that's a definite bullshit thing about this game. Dead? Jill, is that you? Fuck off. I mean, come on, how did that miss? Well, at least that didn't do damage. Watch it, you've got company. Let's see where he goes to. <laughs> I'm telling you, when you play this game on Inferno, all its flaws are insufferable. Like you see every flaw in the game and it's a load of load of dick. Maybe I should get rid of the mine rounds. The one last thing I'd have to sift through. Okay. Got shotgun rounds coming up, shotgun shells. I think that that's good. Shotgun, first aid spray. It's funny because like the first time I fought ne Dog Nemesis, I, I didn't have enough ammo and I was just knifing him. I knifed him for like 20 minutes without like dying on hardcore mode. I was pretty proud of that. All right, let's try this again. Lol.
Of course. Oh boy. The spicy meatball. I lost track, man. There's just too much stuff that I, I'm trying to focus on. There's too much shit to focus on. I don't even feel like this boss is that hard. It's just some of the things... Like, it's definitely not a hard boss fight. Sure, he takes tons of... Tons of damage for some reason. But it's inherently not very hard. I mean, come on, dick. That was my bad. Alright, let's just clear out these fuckers now. Come on, I just healed. So glad those aren't insta kills. Oh, thank you for fucking. 
Just die. I think we did it. What are you doing? Number four. Yeah. I think he's dead. Man, what a shit storm that was. So using the mines, I felt like it was distracting me too much, man. You know, I think in the future, I'm going to use acid rounds on this guy. If I can remember. Flame and acid, man. I think the, the grenade rounds are good too, but... Grenade rounds don't do shit to him, man. But what was good about the grenade rounds is that if a zombie was next to him, I could take out them both with a grenade round. That was the best thing about the grenade rounds. The damage was unimpressive, but at least it fucked all the enemies off. Alright, so that was the easy part. Unfortunately, that was the easy part, guys. That was the easy part. Yeah. No room for error. So what do I have here? I've got... Damn, I didn't use shit for my Magnum either. And I don't even think first aid sprays are going to be even worth taking with me. Hmm. All right, I've got 58 bullets. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. We don't need the shotgun anymore. We don't need this anymore. Magnum is a maybe. Might as well just take the Magnum. I mean, is there any reason not to just load up on first aid sprays? It's almost a joke, but... I like how I'll use exactly zero... full heals. Yeah, it might have a million. So apparently I missed some gunpowder somewhere, because I've got explosive, but I can't use it. Alright, so just this gun is going to do all the heavy lifting. And that, I guess we can put that away. Oh, oh the sixth stream. Yeah, I was, uh, I drank a little too much alcohol. It's funny because I, I only got to feel good from the alcohol for like five and a half minutes. It didn't last very long, you know? What a waste of booze. Then again, I, I was getting rid of some disgusting shit. I was drinking brandy. That stuff is nasty. It's disgusting. Should have had some like Jack and Coke or something. All right, well, here comes the real shit. Would it be effed up if they didn't give you a typewriter here? To save?
We'll watch this cutscene a single time. We'll be, we'll be here. We'll skip this cutscene for maybe 50 times. No, 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 no. You, Prince Mark. I like both. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! All right, this is going to be a mess, fellas. Have you, have you ever seen anything so incredible? The data on this would be worth millions. But, well, uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode. And you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! All right, it's been a while since I've played this. Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. All right, little soldier. Look, we'll be here for a while. Just so you know, this is the last fucking time. That is a dead space boss if I've ever seen one. You gonna let me at least fire this thing? I think this entire sequence is cool and everything. I personally like the railgun. I like the music here. I like this as, as a boss fight. I just don't like how it's an insta-kill boss fight. I think that's bullshit. He just kind of touched me and I, I died. And I've got enough ammo, I think, for this guy. I saved up a decent amount. Holy smokes. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, I think I need to, uh, I don't know if I can dodge that early. Like, I think I need to kind of give him some space. I'm not sure if that's dodgeable. I feel like I hit that dodge perfectly. It's a little easier to dodge a little bit later on. The animation's just a little bit later on. What was the, uh, the timing on that? You know, I wish they just started you off at the boss battle after you, uh, used the railgun the first time. We'll be here for a while. Let's put it that way. Hi. that again i'm gonna get a little bit closer i'm gonna get a little bit closer
I think if I were to do this during a marathon, how horrible would that be? Like, normally I play game on the, on the hardest difficulty, but, like, for this game, I don't know what... I definitely... I suck at this game on Inferno. I mean, I think it would just take practice, but... No way. Hey, I thought I lived. So most people that beat this, I swear, they use those uh, New Game Plus items. I think even speedrunners use it. This is a very bullshit boss. It's too bad that I can't give my opinion to Capcom in the dev room and Vito. Veto the entire thing of... Maybe you shouldn't have something this lame. This is a Dark Souls boss. This is a Dark Souls boss. Should get that checked out, man. Some Alka Seltzer and some Pepto Bismol is your best friend. The, the acid that squirts at you is slightly RNG based, by the way. Dude, my fingers are freezing. So I've got three rounds of that. I have to do it for three rounds. I've got to kill his his pimples for three rounds. How about some more? I know. You want to hear that? I hope you like that line. Oh, you know what's also kind of funny? He'll also mix up his timings on things, too. He mixes up his timings, I believe, on his left, his right arm. crock of shit this guy is so next time i play this game i mean this game is it's a nice playthrough on hardcore mode you know the boss isn't isn't crazy he isn't crazy or anything he's, a, he's an enjoyable last boss if he is an insta kill frame data frame perfect data Acid got me on that one. The RNG acid. Yeah, there was no save point. I said it earlier, right? Think about that. 
There was no save point there, and you get to fight Nemesis, Dog Nemesis, twice or er, again. Uh oh. I survived one hit at least. We're gonna. I'm beating this game tonight. What time is it? Midnight? Alright. My fingers are freezing though. Bad dodge. Partly because I couldn't see the camera or where it was. The thing is, I've done this on on nightmare mode. It's funny because on nightmare mode you can actually uh survive a hit. So this Resident Evil is a little different. It seems like the hardest difficulty is is meant to be this uh, I want to be the guy uh, Kaizo Mario bullshit. It's like one of the f only Resident Evil. Well, I haven't played RE6, no hope. But it feels like it. that's like it's one of the few Resident Evils where hard mode is a load crap. Okay, so it's quick, quick, wait, quick, the combos, quick, wait, quick, quick hit, wait a little bit, quick hit. Quick, wait, quick. I mean, some Dark Souls bosses didn't even give me as much trouble as this guy. What am I supposed to do there? Dodge pro properly. Damn you, acid. Quick. Wait, quick. What do you do now? I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Okay, that was a wait again. All right, so it's a quick wait, quick combo. And then he does, he gives you a chance to shoot or reload once. And then you have to be, uh, remember if you reload while he's, while you, you can't dodge while you're reloading. Just remember that that's going to be, you have to choose your reloads carefully. Let me try using this fucking magnum. It doesn't kill things in one hit, unfortunately. Although... It doesn't kill things in one hit. It may not kill the bubbles in one hit. Although I think the... Okay, Magnum is pure win. Okay, Magnum is pure win. Wait. Go ahead. I'm going to put you 
The way she's so cocky as she gets fucking swatted. One could even see it as humorous. Okay, so Magnum was doing pretty good, actually. Instant karma. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so the Magnum was doing pretty good. I wonder if I should waste the Magnum right now. We got two... That that did like two rounds. I can do two rounds out of three. You're way through. She's an asshole in this game. You see the acid? It's RNG. I got punished by RNG right there. The acid hit me and set me up for a combo. Can you believe I survived a, a hit of that? That was interesting. So we'll use the Magnum and then we'll finish him off with a... I think Magnum... I think the Magnum is the way, fellas. You see how quickly I killed that, 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 that phase one? Oh, that was a bad dodge. That was a horrible dodge. All right, we're going Magnum. Magnum power. So I wonder, maybe, maybe the Magnum is the way in this game. Maybe I should save it for this boss. I like how they give you a first aid spray here, like, like it's freaking useful. <laughs> I want to, I want to go ask the devs, when do I use the first aid spray? Hey, hey devs, when do I use the first aid spray? Oh, after he hits you. Oh, you mean after he insta kills you? Okay. That time he didn't want to do the sweep attack. Maybe because I ran too far. I'm good in the neighborhood. Can you imagine speedrunners running this without like... Without those new game plus items? Because they used to do speedruns on, on the hardest difficulty, but they would use New Game Plus items. Okay. He's, he's cross. He's mixing me up. It's like in a fighting game. You do mix-ups on your opponent. It's like, I've been doing this five times in a row. You're probably going to expect it a sixth time on. Then he mixes you up. Immediately swatted my ass. Probably don't need any of these items, huh? Hey, come on. I don't think Jill's waifu status for me anymore. Like, if Jill had an OnlyFans, would you simp to it? If she was using OnlyFans to help pay for the wages uh, of stars to make a livable wage, would you simp to it? I'm not sure if I'd simp to it, no. That, 
That's a tough dodge. Although, there are some Resident Evil girls I would sim to. If Excella Gioni had an OnlyFans, I would sim to that. Maybe Jessica from Revelations. Okay, the acid got me killed there. So that was a better a better pimple strategy. Go for the, the two on the bottom right and then the top two. Hmm, hold on. The more sex or any other related content, I'm not sure what you mean. Let's try again. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so bottom left. That got me killed was the acid there. The RNG acid got me killed. Is that bullshit? But I'm not sure what, what do you mean with the less value it has. And I, I, I mean, that even made, like, what do you mean gamer girls? I'm, I'm really confused. I don't understand. I need more context. Ah, uh, we don't need that for stage right. Oh, snap. Sixted. Hey, man. I'm streaming at sixted hour. Okay, that one didn't pop. I've got to respect it a little bit more. Yeah, that was super clean first try. True, occultist, I agree with you. True. I think that's definitely a thing. It's kind of like that with, with everything in life, too. Um, it's like eating good food. If, like, all you eat is really tasty food... I remember listening to one guy along. It was like, actually it was a, it was an, a thing from Dan Bilzerian back when he was, uh, no, not a villain. It's like, yeah, I just eat at the nicest restaurants. Like he would talk about how he would eat at like five star restaurants. And like if at any point he didn't eat at a five star restaurant, it just, if he, if he ate at a four star restaurant, he would be like, well, you know, I, I feel it's kind of bad today. Like your, his standard was so high. Anything below a five star felt bad and five star felt normal. Like he didn't, he didn't really hit those highs is what he would, he said in his interview. Oh, definitely. I, I know what you're talking about, Yuri. I thought that was super hot. Belle Delphine. And then when she made her, her porn tape, I didn't care anymore because in my mind, this is exactly what Akosa was talking about in my mind. She had switched from like, like she was, a, she was like always teasing it, right? Always teasing it, always teasing. It. And then when she, when she did it, I didn't even care. Like my friend in my discord linked the, uh, in the not safe for work section, linked her, her video in the not safe for work session in my discord. And I remember thinking, I don't even care about watching it at this point. I don't even care about watching it at this point. Like the mystique is over. People who didn't understand what I was talking about in Discord. It's literally what a cultist was saying. Fuck you, acid. Uh, 
Oh, baby. That's clean, baby. I agree. That's 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 what it felt like for me. All right, so we got to dodge. This dodge isn't super easy. All right. That was a little too quick. So I think he does four of those or what? I like deconstructing a boss. There's something about that that's super gratifying to me. It's it's the reason why I like Dark Souls. Like I, I'm going to do this boss fight and I won't be in pain. The only thing that's going to be painful about this boss fight is starting here, taking out my Magnum, skipping the cutscenes, grabbing the items, hit, hitting the, uh, you know, all, all that is the only shitty part about doing these types of things. But generally speaking, I like deconstructing boss fights like this. It's kind of like why I like Dark Souls. I don't want to grab these items. Fuck off. I can't ever kill me. I don't want to fire this thing. I don't want to skip the cutscene after. Just start me off right here. So he, he roared there. He roared there. It's okay, we're, we're good. Let's go again. I don't even care about that. <laughs> Let's go. Zlap for the Z. All right, let's go again. Clean. Clean except for all the acid that squirted on me. What do you do? Okay, so he does... He does the four hit combo and then... And then you have time to shoot one thing before he does his next thing. That, that, that arm thing is free though. If he does that arm thing, I, oh no, no. I think it's the other arm thing. I don't even remember. We'll see though. We got time. I'll be here for a while. I don't even need these. Let's be real. I don't need any of these. Why am I getting them? Maybe I... All right, next playthrough. I'm not grabbing those anymore. I'm just going to go straight for the laser. Save me some time. I clearly don't need it, man. Magnum's going to take out two phases. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna grabbing those items anymore. I just don't need them. I got plenty. It's funny because they give you a grenade here, as if it's something worth the damn. Right, the more predictable he is, the happier I'll be. What he growls like that? Um. What he growls like that? You're you're in hit stun and you can't move. I think you have to mash out of it. But I was mashing, but I also think I might just mistime that dodge. I'm curious. What the hell's over here anyway? They give you a grenade. Well, They literally give you a grenade there. 
You know how worthless a grenade is here? Oh shit, mixed me up, huh? I'm over here thinking in my mind, actually how worthless is the grenade here? And then he fucking slaps me. <laughs> it's not 100%. I think the, the dodge angle, I think you have to mash out of it and or um, you have a few frames to uh, to dodge. So I'm not sure if I should mash dodge there or not. I don't like mashing anything, you know? What's RNG for sure is the acid. And maybe even that you can dodge. Maybe maybe it's dodgeable. Who knows? You can see it coming at you. I can just hit that. Fuck off, acid. I'm very used to fighting on this side, though. I'm going to go to the other side now, though. All right. Could the grenade launcher pop more than one weak spot at once? I would never use the grenade launcher. No, I can't. Um, not only that, but reloading that grenade launcher. Ugh. It's a bit much. I've got all this ammo. You know, I don't don't need to grab anything here. Some of the extra ammo here. I'm just, just going to save myself some trouble. Walking line, my their hands are freezing. It, you, remember how it feels like the game while your hands are frozen? Ooh, that's a tough. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah, there's a heater behind me. I'm too lazy to go back there and turn it on. I'm telling you, when, I, when I'm sitting here and I'm gaming and streaming, I don't, I don't want to touch like me getting off off of this damn seat isn't something that happens very easily. RNG acid killed me. That fourth shot, it it acided me. Ah, <laughs> you have two PCs. You know, I've been getting this weird thing with my PC. I'm not sure what the hell has been happening. Maybe we've got some PC gurus in here. I don't know. But something I've noticed my PC or something that's been happening recently. Uh, it seems to turn off my monitors. Like the theft. All of a sudden. I'll hear the, the fans heating up or speeding up to maximum. The fans start speeding up to maximum capacity. And right as that happens, my monitors turn off, but I can still access what's going on in my computers, my computer. And then I guess it just stays there. And then I, I turn, turn it off to... Uh, that's not easy to dodge. I wonder if I can dodge into it, actually. I'm not really sure what the hell's happening. But, like, my PC, all of a sudden, it just starts... You know, it sounds like a... Like a jet plane is landing in my backyard. And then, um... Uh, you can tell that the fans are become maximum power. And then the monitor turns off, but I can still kind of control what's going on. <laughs> if I wasn't blocked visually, visually impaired on my PC, I could still... It just ends with me uh, turning my PC off. It's, it's been happening. I don't know. Oh, 
I missed the shot. <sighs> um, I don't know, personally. It turns black. I'm not sure if it's... I'm not really sure. I mean... Beats me. Stuff like that scares the crap out of me because it's like, is it time to buy a new PC? I don't really want to. I want to buy a new PC next year. So all the people that got like 3080s, I could be like, ha ha, my PC's better. Because this is the time everybody wants to build their PC. When those 30 to 3000 series was announced, everybody's dick got hard. Probably not going to get my, my thing fixed now, but it's whatever. It has to happen in a, in, in a few days. All right, so this one was... Oh, he's doing the left arm. Two, three. Okay, so when he does the left arm, he does like eight attacks there. And the last attack is, I think it has a, a delay to it. He's, this is the first time he's done that in like 20 minutes. I gotta be careful. When he uses this arm first, he does like eight quick attacks. Seven quick attacks and then one attack that's lingered to uh, fuck you up afterwards. And it's I think that's RNG actually. It's not always eight from what I, I, I understand. Just fucking dick. Yeah, I knew that was going to kill me. When that fourth acid hit hit me, it's like guaranteed death. I couldn't. I was smashing dodge. It was guaranteed death. Now we're talking. Maybe it's not. So there's seven pimples on him. All right, let's see. Left arm on my left equals quick dodges. Yeah, I hit dodge, it didn't come out. I wonder if it gets significantly harder on the last phase. The thing is, I've seen speedrunners. There's a way to only uh, two cycle him instead of three. Oh, shit. There's a way to two cycle him. Speedrunner thing. Have you guys seen it? The two cycle? The Nemesis two cycle? Dude, Magnum for the win. 
pretty beastly in Inferno mode. Okay. That was, uh... What was the timing on that? I wonder if it's RNG or not. I wonder if it's the timing on that is, is changing. Because it was two slow ones, and then it was a quick one on the third one. And the thing is, you can't really react to it. There's not enough time to react to it. You just got to learn how this guy's frame data works. That's it. Good old frame data. That's the hard part. This is the frame data. You got to really get a good grip on how his moveset works. And then the timing for it, the muscle memory. Boy, I need to eat some food today. I'm doing the whole New Year's lose weight, you fatty resolution. Being a fatty. I'm doing that thing because I'm fatty. So I'm eating two meals a day, 1500 calories, and I'm getting 60 minutes of, of walking outside up and down hills. Can't wait till gyms open up again and I can go get to the gym, go pump some iron again. Now I had some nice gains this time last year. I had some nice gains, man. I'm telling you, my arms were looking thick. It's nice seeing your arms look fucking good. That's like what every guy likes. Stupid arms. Yeah, that was a really bad attempt. V Venom. Hey, what's going? Made it just in time for the Rage Fest. Uh, I mean, it's been going on for 20 or 30 minutes now. I don't know. But I'm not raging. I'm, I'm still having fun. I told you that I don't rage on this fight. I think it's an interesting fight. The only thing I don't like doing is running there. And skipping this cutscene and turning around and then doing this. Waiting, 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 waiting. Press F. Waiting, 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 waiting. Press any button quickly. Skip cutscene. Battle starts now. All right, asshole. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that was bad, man. All right, so that last one, you see that one? The the eight hitter? That's the second time he's done it. I dodged it this time because I recognized it. I'm not sure. I guess I recognized it fast. But, I mean, I think that's RNG-ish, too. I think he doesn't always go for eight tries. Oh, it definitely is Venom. It's stupid on 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 Nightmare Mode as well. <coughs> it, it's, a, it's a good fight. I like the fight on Hardcore. No, I think it's a good fight on hardcore. It's pretty fun. I think it's much better than the original fight from the original game, which isn't even a fight. Oh, come on, dickhead. I'm trying to manipulate his RNG so I can get the, uh, the ground pound, 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 pound move. And then I shoot his pimples.
Wait, on RE2? What do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. Let me die here and I'll read that again. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Pop. 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 A little late on that. The thing is, when he does that attack, you need to move over to the right. It seems like... Unless you can dodge through that, I should try doing that. That would make my life easier, but I'm too stubborn to try. want to try. But you got to move over a little bit. There is no Inferno mode on RE2, though. The, the maximum difficulty on RE2 is hardcore. Which is... They have hardcore in this, dif in this game. This is RE3. They have a hardcore in this game, but that's two difficulties down. They have, like... Like, easy, normal, hardcore, and then nightmare, and then this inferno bullshit. Oh, crap. I already did that. Yeah, that was my fault. I thought I was talking, and then I didn't realize I'd already done the cutscene. Yeah, but the difficulty in this is uh because of the the final two difficulties in re3 is it's almost unfair i've never heard anybody compliment this i've never heard anybody compliment these nightmare and inferno i've only heard complaining and distaste distasteful comments about it Let's go. If they would have had these two difficulties on RE2, I'd be pissed. Ain't nobody want to play this shit. That shit. I'm gonna put you right back on your ass. All right, dude. You want some? Come get some. One. Wait. Two. Three. I'm getting a little greedy there. I think that's partially why I'm, I'm getting destroyed here is my greed. I shot two of the pimples at once. I think maybe you got to do one, man. I don't know. Wait for good a good move set. Wait for a good move set where you can just go off on his on his little pimples. Maybe that's what I need to do. Okay, one at a time, Ronnie. One at a time. That's new strat. One at a time, except for this first one where you can just go berserk on it. Right. The acid killed me. RNG acid. RE2 is easy mode. You know, what? let's talk about RE2 for a little bit. Um, I'm not really, I was never really satisfied by that game's bosses. The boss fights in that game, with the exception of uh, Laboratory Birkin. I forgot what G4 or something. I don't know what it's called, man. People people say G3, 2, 1. I don't... I... Laboratory Birkin? <laughs> that's a good fight. Where he starts throwing stuff and... Like, that's a real fight. Oh, you bastard. The thing is, you have to understand that this game was was outsourced. It, it wasn't made by Capcom's best team, which is why the quality probably isn't as good. Yeah, a lot of people are glad it wasn't like RE6. There's only a little bit of people that liked RE6. There was definitely a fan base for it. Um, I wasn't fond of it. Oh, come on, it didn't even pop. I shot it three times. 
Okay, definitely that, that roar, you can mash out of it. I mashed the shit out of that and got out before he could actually, uh... Before he could pound me. Hmm. What's M2 made RE3? Oh, the, uh, the team. Oh, no. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. Yeah, shut up, Nikolai. I'm actually enjoying myself. I just don't like the downtime between between deaths in, in this fight. Haha, <laughs> acid. I'm not even sure if I'm going to play that on launch day, Venom. Part of me is tired of buying games at launch day. I'm tired of spending that money. And there's plenty of other Resident Evil streamers out there. I'm like not even a Resident Evil streamer and I don't, I don't even plan to do that in the future. I'm going to do more IRL. Like, since I've been gone from Twitch from that long time, people don't get really too excited when I do RE. Which isn't too bad, because I'm... It's not even my favorite franchise. I love the franchise. Got him. I like Zelda and Assassin's Creed more, by the way. I do love RE, though, but... We'll let, we'll let the new guys take that spot. I'm going to let the new guys take the spot. We've got plenty of RE streamers. Oh, that was such a bad dodge. True. I have my most viewers when I play Resident Evil. I, I, would, I, would, I would agree. Um, but I don't want to do it as like a main thing. All right, check this out. I'm willing, like what I want to do, I want to make some new content on the channel, some IRL stuff and kind of test the grounds because this isn't a career for me. It's a hobby. But I get a lot of complaints if I do with different things, which is really annoying. If I do different things, people really complain and it becomes unenjoyable for me. This is just a hobby. Remember, I'm making jack shit for money on this website. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. I don't think so. Look how good that one was. That was sexy. You see that double dodge I did? That was hot, man. Go ahead. I'm gonna put you right back on your ass. All right, let's see if I can. Oh, greed. Greed. Fucking greed on that one. It's funny because I, I saw the attack. I was just a little too quick, a little too soon on, on dodging it. That's, he was going to do the eight hitter. The eight piece combo. Alright. It's fun. This is fun, Venom. I don't know what you're talking about. People are like, this is going to be a painful boss fight. Sorry, asshole. Let's go. It's like playing Dark Souls, man. Those, you just got to learn how, how he works. But it's like insta-kill Dark Souls. Oh God.
Fellas. Man, he did the quick one. Like, I knew it was coming, but I just... Slightly, slightly off on that dodge. So, I'm mean, telling you, progress is being made. Progress is being made here. I'm learning how he works. I'm slowly picking him apart. With the exception of me being greedy. This is working. For 24 hours. What's the hardest thing I've done on this stream? What was the hardest thing I've ever done in the stream? Any anyone can think of anything off the top of their head? Okay, you can definitely dodge into that. Okay, Magnum's awesome here, man. Magnum makes this fight so much better. When I have to switch to handgun eventually, it's going to be a sad day. Oh, no. I, uh, I think the boss difficulty, you know, it's just, it, all right. This boss is the hardest boss. The, the second dog form boss is bullshit because of all the enemies. That's inherently not a hard boss fight, but when you've got a million enemies in, in, in an area, it makes dog fight number two a pain. Like he was tapping my ass a second ago on dogfight two because of all the zombies. It was the zombies, man. <laughs> oh yeah what was the hardest thing i've ever done on this game i remember there was a few things where i just sat there trying to beat it forever i think that one marathon the first marathon i ever did where i was doing resident Evil 4 i'm like it's just a four hour game and then i played for 24 hours that was pretty fucking crazy that i committed that long to that game I just got done beating like Resident Evil Zero on stream. And then I asked viewers, I asked one viewer what what thing I wanted to uh What game should I play right now? I got I got four hours. I'm like he's like Resident Evil 4. I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, it's just four hours, and then I sit there for like 24 hours playing that game. bastard I gotta get good RNG man I don't like having to wait for good RNG I think the acid is maybe the most cruel thing they did for this fight it's not even the hitbot the, the frame data of this guy being with the insta kill you I think it's the acid man because it's pure randomness I think I will be planning Resident Evil 6 I'm gonna do it on uh, PS3 I'm not sure how long that's going to take. Do you know the, uh, the stats on that? Oh, well. Got a little greedy. 
platinuming Resident Evil 6 would be nice. I like platinum trophy in games. It's fun. It's like the funnest thing ever. What a platinum trophy Resident Evil guide. I don't even hear it anymore of Hellback and I don't even hear I don't hear of anything in this game anymore. That's cheap. All right, so that's interesting. When he does that, that's a really nice move to counter. But if I do it in the corner like that, I need to stay in the center, I think, is what I need to do. Stay, like, right here in the center. So when he does that move, I just move off to the side and insta dodges it. Yeah, I'll probably do co-op with it. I haven't played that game co-op. Maybe the game's not so lame with co-op. Oh, really? I'm having fun with this still. I'm not sure. Did they help? I don't know. They didn't nerf it enough. <laughs> and what would they nerf it on? I mean... Oh, I just now realized the Magnum shot, it goes through its flesh. That's an interesting note. It goes through its flesh. So I don't need to worry about being... Okay, how come on that one he beat my ass? I need to figure out what the startup of that looks like. It's the last time I just got in there, you know. Maybe the last hit. I don't know. Maybe he's easy. That that move he does at the start. Maybe that's worse. The second time he does it. And it's a baby move the first time. Because I don't feel like that should have tracked me that well. There's no such thing as unwinnable. <laughs> this fight is definitely not unwinnable. Let's not say unwinnable any like let's not devalue what unwinnable means cuz there's that and I'm sure it was programmed winnable. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. That'd be have to a big mess up on Capcom's for it to make to have zero people have beaten it until they nerfed it. Ball. So I think if he does that, I'm going to take out my other pistol. I mean, this Magnum's so good. I kind of wish I didn't waste all those bullets earlier. Hold on, buddy. They give you three grenades. Why do they give you grenades? They suck. How the hell are you supposed to throw a grenade? and hit some of the top ones. You know, it's going to fall right down. Ah. 
Look at the way you don't even need. That's the best thing about this Magnum is you don't need to wait for. I think that's optimal, man. I think from now on, when I play this game, I'm only using Magnum on this fucker. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's not fair. You understand? That right there is not fair. I'll tell you why that's not fair. He does, that was six. He On six and on the seventh one, he delayed it just a little bit. So he'll delay it any, basically anywhere between like, I don't know, like the f five, six, or seven, or eight. And it's random. And the thing is, you can't react to it. You just can't react to it. It's too quick. It's too quick. You can't react to it. It's too quick. You can't react to it. I mean, that's a load of horse shit to me. All right, try again. That, that, that move really. Acid, more RNG. Like, I'm sure at some point the RNG is going to be good enough that I can, I can beat him. Plus, you know, along with me learning his, his, his frame data a little bit, but that, that eight hit combo, I mean that, that's a load of crap. Cause he, 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 he what an ass. I can see why speedrunners probably. Oh my gosh. It's all right. We're just gonna work on good, on good uh, RNG. Fine with it. Oh, of course. I know. That's, that's how it works. I mean, has there ever been like a remake of any game? Like, think of Super Mario 64. Think of like Wind Waker HD. That was sick. That was an all or nothing for me, by the way. I'm like, well, we're either going to die here. Oh, that was a bad dodge. Yeah, but think about like, you know, all remakes, they always go back to the original. Like Wind Waker HD, Super Mario 64 for the uh, the new one that came out, you know, for the, the triple game that has like Galaxy and uh, Sunshine. Speedrunners didn't like that they took out a glitch, so they're back playing the original, I'm pretty sure. But like this game isn't anything like the original. I mean, have speedrunners completely abandoned this is silly to me. <laughs> I mean, this is its own game. I'm sure this has like, I mean, this is, this is nothing like, I wonder how many speedrunners actually stopped playing this. 
this I mean they're different games entirely right it's not like Wind Waker HD where it's like well they removed some glitches like with Mario 64 they removed the backwards jump where you go up up that endless staircase I love the way that goes right through him. I think next playthrough, for sure, man. Magnum. On next nightmare or whatever playthrough, I think I'm going to use Magnum on this guy. Oh, come on. I dodged that. Yeah, it's a little strange, Venom, that they released this game a year after Remake 2. I mean, I thought that was a little rushed to me. I realize they were both being developed at around the same time. But... What they needed is a quality test. I wish I had more Magnum ammo at this point. I can't really reload saves. I love the way that auto locks on right through his, his flesh. That's so good, guys. That's so good. Go ahead. I'm gonna put you right back on All right, Dick. Now, here's where I get greedy. getting closer man getting closer the thing is i kind of wonder if i should save save the bagnum for last or should i just wreck him the first one the way they do it in a way it's kind of hard to argue with how hard i wreck him on that first attempt like it, it it's such a clean kill on that first attempt You know what? I'm going to use the G18 or whatever the fuck this game, this thing is called. Yeah, G18. For the first first phase, I'm going to use this gun. The next two phases. The thing is, you can two cycle him if you, um, if you manipulate his, if you manipulate his, uh, his moveset here with, with those canisters. I haven't. No, I'm going to try it when all the, the games are out. Let's go. Oh, acid. I would totally, I'm not getting it right now. Like I said, I'm going to wait until all the games are out and then I'm going to wait for the, the compilation collection where they compile them all together. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry. I'm good for the Final Fantasy VII remake, which I haven't played yet, which looks pretty good. I'll wait. And by that time, it's going to be like $10 for the first game. Who knows if they make a compilation of all, all of them, though? Yeah, maybe. Oh, 
Come on. So I have to use at least one clip on this guy. I think in the future, if I ever do an Inferno playthrough, I'm saving Magnum. Magnum's for this guy. Brownish gray. That was like the 90s. Like, Super Nintendo was infamous for that. It was like a yellowish. Oh, he did that twice in a row? No. When all games became brownish gray, I'm not sure what you mean. Are you talking about the consoles? Like the consoles? Brownish gray? Cause like, I thought, you know, you're talking about like the Super Nintendo where it turns this yellowish gray color. PlayStation 1 did that I think as well, to some degree. I reloaded. Thank you. Thank you for that. Although you died. Fuck you. I really thank you. Nah, thank you though. Yeah, you're gonna see you died a lot. I mean, it's already been here for like, I don't know. How long have we been fighting? It's uh, 1 30 in, in the morning for me, but I, I took a nap unfortunately, so my fucking. I'll be getting half sleep tonight. I wish I had more Magnum ammo. No, Wani, no. Man, my feet are cold. My hands are cold. And I need some food. I don't have anything to eat, though. All right, so I'm on a diet right now, plus I'm exercising. I'm doing the whole New Year's thing that people do, right? So the thing is, I know how I work, right? The way that I work is if I see tasty food, I have to eat it. So my refrigerator is empty right now. All there's that's there is some peanut butter and some like lacroix. That's about it, right? So I, I removed most of the food from my, my house. I'm not tempted to, to eat. Overeat when I've got like a calorie restriction on me. Ronnie! Not really, to be honest. Like, I think my taste for, for that drink has gone down. Um, it's just sparkling water. Have you ever had sparkling water? It's carbonated water with a little bit of flavoring to it. It's not that good. Like, if, all right, let, let's say like Pepsi or Coca-Cola. Let's say that, that tastes like a 10 out of 10. Let's say Pepsi or Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola is like a 10 out of 10. Uh, La Croix, La Croix, or whatever it's called, it's French or something. That's like a, in terms of tastiness, right? Talking about taste. 
it's like a six out of ten. Maybe maybe like a five point five to six out of ten. And if Coca Cola is a ten out of ten, like there's there's uh, I mean Coca Cola is infinitely more more tasty, but Coca Cola is really bad for you. So so with Lacroix, it's just water, but it doesn't have that much taste. It's like a 5.5 out of 10, maybe. Maybe 6 out of 10. In terms of taste, right? I don't know what Pepsi Crystal is. It's like Sprite Pepsi. It's like another way to sell 7-Up. Did they already own 7-Up or something? It's like another way to, to, to sell 7-Up all over again. Is that what it is? You do that attack it's so hard to dodge when that close man it's so hard to dodge when you're when you don't have like the horizontal space but i was set on that one i had all my magnum shots left didn't they bring it back though hell i think people brought it back though right I remember it was like a vintage at some point. People kept uh, canisters of it and it was like worth something. It was like a major flop. You acid. I think that was just a bad dodge. I'm, I, 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 my character was like on acid though. That sounds weird. People hated it. They did in the 2000s. He bought it off eBay and drank it. It was something like that, right? There was some sort of story. I remember hearing it. I don't remember the details, but I remember somebody. They became a collector's item. Somebody. Maybe it was on a TV show. Or maybe it was a YouTube video. I've been a YouTube video where it's like, I bought this off eBay and drank it. Fucking A. Fuck. I mean, I like Nikolai's character model in this game. I think that's a handsome old man. He's like maybe 50 years old. I want to look that good when I'm 50. You know? I know. What's up? Like, having pure white hair, I think looks great. I'm not a fan of salt and pepper. Dummy. I'm not a fan of salt and pepper. I like... Like, if I... It's too bad it's not going to turn out like that with me. Like, you see some people that, like, think of Sephiroth, right? He's got pure white hair. And think of that when you're, like, 50 or something. If he dyed his hair, oh, of course. You know, anytime you dye your hair, you look younger.
Um, I, I'm having fun personally, Sixted, but I can, oh, I can, re I can recognize horse shit from a mile away, and this is definitely horse shit. And he he opened up with his eight hit maximum attack. That's an attack I don't want to see on this playthrough. <laughs> it's like Dark Souls is what I've been saying so far. It, it, it's like a really hard Dark Souls fight. The only thing is like, there's no Dark Souls boss. I shouldn't say there's none. That's like insta kill. Usually in Dark Souls, you know, a boss might take... Dummy, I sucked at that one. Usually in Dark Souls, a boss will take like 80% of your HP at max, and it'll, it'll almost never insta kill you in Dark Souls. Like, even at Soul Level 1, even at SL1, which I've done many playthroughs of in my life, a boss will usually take away most of your HP, but it'll never like one hit kill you almost. This boss is one hit killing, so it's like not fair. Do we have an emote for this? Uh, Nemesis Rage? I don't know. Oh yeah, that one works too. I wish you didn't aim there. No, don't grab my boobies. I need those. Booby grabbing. Why are boobs fun? It's isn't it annoying? It's so annoying when a girl shows her cleavage in public. Because like you, you don't want to like stare. But you can't help it. You literally can't help it. You literally cannot help it. It's beyond anything out of like outside of our control. I mean It's so annoying. Okay. Bad time to reload. The, th the thing is, you need to hit three bullets. You've got to land three of these bullets at the same time to pop one of those pimples. But the thing is, if two of them hit and one of them hits like flesh, it it's almost, it's annoying. You know, it takes longer to do that, obviously. This gun's not the fastest gun. Hi, Dolly. Welcome. It came out about, when did this game come out? Like March? I think it came out March of last year. Although this year is really, it just started. Now, hopefully you guys are having a good 2021 so far. Oh, we did the, the quick attack. That's the death attack right there. The RNG attack. You know, you cross your fingers and pray to your God, whoever that God is, and just hope he's got your back on it came out in April when the pandemic first started. First started in March. I mean, it became serious in, in March, right? It's done. It's done. What if Nikolai only wanted Jill to give him a uh, premium access to her OnlyFans? He's like, I give you antidote, you give me OnlyFans. I want to see American titties. Let's go bowling, cousin. <laughs> ah, damn it. It's funny. Like, I remember seeing a meme a long time ago. And, uh, 
It was talking about OnlyFans. The guy's like, man, I, I went to OnlyFans and I subscribed to it. How did it go? How did that meme go? Hold on, let me find it. It's actually kind of... Uh, hold on. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here it was. Um, it wasn't the exact. Uh, I don't know. I can't. Hold on. Let me just. I don't know why this is so important that I have to like. I have to to have it on here. I have to share it. Oh my god. Alright. So, yeah, there's a store called OnlyFans. The meme is all wrong. The meme was like, I thought OnlyFans would only be a shop about fans. Boy, was I wrong. Tui, we need, we need your OnlyFans. I think that'd be an interesting pickup line. Like walk up to him and be like, what's your OnlyFans account? I'll totally simp to you. That's a pickup line right there. I think it'd be funny, actually, to be honest, too. Especially when a girl's looking, like, really hot. Maybe she's at the gym. Maybe she's wearing, like, a dress. Like, what's your OnlyFans? She could be morbidly, uh... We're dead. Chewie, I need to see the blood. The blood from your cupping thing. Did that do anything for you? Chewie did some weird cupping thing where they suction cup blood out of your body for health reasons. It's a little, a little much, man. Except pain. That was a, that was a really, a really, really ouchy session right there. But now we got nothing but Magnum, so things are going to be a little easier. One, two, three, four. I'm telling you, fuck this game. I'm telling you guys so hard in my heart, you cannot react to that. It is unreactable. It is bad design. It's bad design. It's bad design. All right, so that move, when he swings with his right arm, it's very quick swings, and he'll swing anywhere between four to, four to eight times. That time on the fourth swing, he decided, okay, and one of those swings, the last swing of it, it's art, it's random how many times he swings. And on the last swing, it's always going to be a delayed hit. So if you dodged to do try dodging a quick hit, the second hit smashes you. And there's no way that you can react to it. There's no way you can react to it. However, if you luckily, I'm just going to go for eight every time. I'm just going to guess eight. Dodge one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the eighth swing, I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to anticipate him doing the delayed swing. So at best, you can still get past that swing. You just have to do it 
uh, with luck. Pure luck. I'm not even, I'm not even exaggerating. Pure RNG. You just have to RNG it. That's it. That, that swing is pure RNG. You can still get past it if you guess correctly, but you can't react to it. Now yeah, we're not using coins, man. I just don't want to get hit by that. He doesn't do it very often. You know, he doesn't do that very often. When he does... You know what happened there, though, right? The reload killed me. You can't dodge with a reload. The reload got me killed there. I had it under control. And then I heard a click. Oh, no! And then I heard the auto reload happen. I wasn't button mashing or anything. I was just holding the button. And then it auto reloaded. They need to mod this game so it's not bullshit. Let's make a mod to save this game. Magnum time. Go ahead. I'm going to put you right back on your ass. Oh, no, that was such an easy dodge. Magnum. I think Magnum will be good for the last two phases. Magnum will be good because it's an instant pop plus it goes through flesh. Yeah, I was getting better at it, you know? It's like a you just gotta slowly get better at it. And who doesn't I mean I guess some people don't like that. Some people wish this boss were easier. I wish there was less RNG in it. But I think the boss fight is fine the way it is. It's just you can't get into the mindset of this is a Resident Evil game, this is like Dark Souls. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Thank you for the good luck. I appreciate you right now. Our good luck is stacked. I think we got good luck earlier. So every time I get good luck, it, it shaves off 10 minutes of, of grinding. Totally scientific and proven. Proven by science itself. <laughs> More good luck. Stack it. Channeling the... Oh, God damn it, Anima. I was just about to go Super Saiyan. Uh, that's like That's like Removing a girl's clothing and getting really turned on only to see that she has armpit hair Like crazy armpit hair and then all of a sudden it's gone Getting all that good luck was great and then the bad luck Just it robbed it all Oh my god Nice Nice! Until that happens. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go.
Uh oh. Three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe it is reactable. No, I no bullet. My character started reloading. I think you can just barely react to it. Yeah, I switched to Magnum. I was wrecking him too. And then I, I had no bullets. On that last hit, I hit, I, I, I went to go shoot him with the Magnum, but then it caused the reload. A mo chat for five minutes. Oh boy. All right. Well, there you go, fellas. Spam emotes and shit. I don't care. Spam your best emotes. See what you got. Who's got some cool subs, man? All right, I'm going to give you a topic to emote on. When you go outside and somebody sneezes on you. What's your face when somebody sneezes on you outside during Corona times? Okay. Oh no, you acid. I like that Keanu emote. And there's Gandhi. Okay. Weird flex there, Gandhi. Give me your face when someone invites you to a pizza party and there's pineapple on the pizza. I should dodge this way. Did I get that? All right, let's go. The other day talked about a pizza with bananas on it and she said it was divine. I don't know how the hell. He's gonna roar. Was that the second form? Why was I still using the, the handgun there? I was still using the handgun. I was, I was, I'm over here thinking of how disgusting banana is on pizza. And Tui's all about the banana pineapple and ham, I think is what it was. Fine. Is that even a pizza or is that a fruit salad at that point? With some bread underneath everything. My goodness, Tui. Literally, I mean, what, what's tomato? It's a fruit. So you had tomato. I guess cheese isn't a fruit. You know what? Some dumb things I've heard in my life. I remember, all right, so because I don't eat meat, uh, people are fascinated by that for some stupid reason. And I remember talking to this one guy. And uh, he's like, you don't eat meat. So do you eat fish? I'm like, yes, fish is meat. And he's like, not really. It's like a vegetable or something, right? Dead serious. off all right we're, we're going here first i think this is the best Go ahead. I'm gonna put you right back on your 
right. Oh, come on. Mike's the hardest thing to dodge. And you're that close. All right. One last thing. Give me your best emote that you like. Give me the best emote that you that you have. If some of you guys are subbed to some sub channels, your favorite emote ever. And then I'm going to turn off emote only chat. Your favorite emote. I'm looking really. I'm looking precisely here. Your favorite emote. I like that one too, Bandito. I like the old one better though. Oh, that's a nice one. Beavis and Butthead. Straight ripped from MTV, man. Back when there was like a, a an auditing process. You know. Ah, oh, fuck. There used to be. There used to be a, like a, a process when you submitted emotes, somebody would physically check them. And I remember trying to submit a pedo bear Claire emote. A pedo bear Claire emote. And it was rejected because I didn't have access to pedo bear. But now that there's no emote checking anymore because there's just too many channels with emotes. Anything goes, man. Beavis' butt had ripped. I see your uh, trihex. Trihex, sir. I mean, I have this boss down. Oh, I shouldn't have. Oh. I shouldn't have shot there, or I shouldn't have uh, aimed my weapon. I know. It's all right. I'm still having a good time with this this bastard. We're gonna beat him at some point, fellas, ladies and gents, boys and girls around the world. This is Inferno mode. I can't believe Capcom gave the okay on this. Yeah, the old one was godlike. It was it was the really good. baby the old super vinland the new one's okay I, w I wouldn't use it anymore but the old one was top tier open that compartment give me that metal gear solid 2 railgun The acid hit me right when I hit dodge. Three hex. I met him at TwitchCon. I I was uh, the thing is, me and him are both part of the Smash Bros community. And I met him at TwitchCon. And me, I'm a huge shit talker when I play a fighting game. I shit talk everybody. It's all in good fun though. I can lose with grace. Somebody beats me, I say GG's. Somebody have a win, I say GG's. It's all good, right? I'm a huge shit talker. I just started shit talking him nonstop at the partner party. And he's like, oh, you're a shit talker, huh? Uh-oh. Damn, dude. I just started picking up Roy as well in Smash Ultimate. Um, Picking up Roy. I, I'm, I got done with Jigglypuff. I'm done with Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff has too many weaknesses. Oh, definitely. He's for sure a cool person. I can be really weird, though, when I'm nervous. 
talking to people when I'm nervous is like, it can be hit or miss, right? This gun sucks. Next time I play this game, I'm definitely, definitely saving 16 Magnum shots. How many? 8, 16, 24. 24 Magnum shots. Magnum's good on him. It's funny because like on Nightmare Mode or on, I think it was Nightmare Mode, the Magnum didn't insta-kill his, his pimple bubbles. I don't know why. But on for some reason on Inferno it does. Because it didn't insta-kill him in the past, I thought that was stupid. Sometimes it would insta-kill a pimple, sometimes it wouldn't. Oh, that was bad dodge. But if I have a few drinks in me, I'm pretty much golden. Socializing. Just gets rid of all that nervousness and then the real me comes out without the nervousness. If I'm nervous at all. And I'm going to use because the, the later parts are the hard part, Mike. The later parts are the hard part. That was good. Not perfect. That was good. All right. I want to hit that last one first. Oh no, you bastard. That's ideal though. Like if I can dodge that, that hit, it's really nice because they give you a lot of time on that hit. A bad dodge. I think it's fun dodging though. I wonder how much that tactical manual for, for less precise dodging is. It's not like I'm really having too much trouble not hitting the dodges. Although that one's that one's not easy to do. We're out of ammo here. There we go. I want to go with this one first because it's the hardest one to get. Hey, solid. You come for this hellish fight? Yeah, I know. Okay, we got nothing but Magnum now. Fucking acid! RNG bastard! <laughs> the acid, bro. The acid. It's it's RNG. And I died to RNG right there. I died to RNG. The acid, man. I was going crazy on his little things, man. It's alright.
and lessens the recovery. The recovery isn't that big of a deal. How did that not pop? Ooh, I heard that one from across the room. Um, you're guessing grenades don't touch them? Yeah, kinda, you know. Think about it like this. The grenade, you, if you throw it at the top, it'll just come tumbling down, right? Sorry, I missed that, that comment, Dolly. But like, you throw it at, at a top one and it just comes crumbling down, which is the funny part, is they give grenades here. You can see the grenades right there. They give you three grenades, and it's like, why do they give you any grenades? So for this fight, I need to keep my Magnum. I kind of want to do another playthrough of this, but just keep... Hold on to, to Magnum bullets, man. Magnum bullets is really... It's what makes this easy. At least for some reason. Maybe they nerfed it. Maybe they nerfed it. Oh, God. Oh, bad dodge. Maga bullets. You know, I kind of wonder. Let's talk politics for a little bit. Now that, like, Donald Trump is kind of out of the presidency. It's going to be weird. Like, I don't take, I don't do politics personally. I think, uh, I don't, I don't really care for, for politics at all. I don't have a political party at all and I don't care about it. But it's like, who are people going to complain about when he's gone? Like, are people going to still say he's a Trumper or a Trump supporter? That was like a... Yeah, you see there, I bonked. But think about it like this. I mean, the, the word, the, the phrase Trump supporter. Oh, he's a Trump supporter. What are people going to use now? Like, I feel like that has transcended itself in some way. Into culture. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I wonder if that's just going to permeate and just stick around forever. Oh, come on. Get him. Phew. I couldn't tell. All right, let's go. Go ahead. I'm gonna put you right back on your ass. No, not that move. It, it killed me anyway. I kind of want to see what the number was that he did. It's somewhere between four to eight. He'll swing four to eight times. Maybe if you're if you're really. Okay, it might be reactable, just a tiny bit. It might be just a tiny bit reactable. Just barely. Like, if I remember correctly, and if anybody knows themselves, I heard that it takes 13 frames if a game's running at 60 FPS to be able to react to it. Like, on the 13th frame of a move, you can react to something. That's what I heard somebody say that from a fighting game. Although, that maybe that was... Nice. Perfect. Clean fight. Clean fight.
suck on my dick. Excuse my foul language. A wee just killed every single one of his pimples in one shot. Let's get good RNG. Come on, game. <laughs> We're getting close. Getting close. Make say I I did Mike. That's what that's the plan. The plan is to use the G18 for the the first part, and then save the two clips of Magnum I have. It takes one clip each to. Ooh, my goodness. Let's go. I think this is fun though. I'm having a good time. Just barely, man. That was a good last fight, though. It's all right. So every time that I break his his pimple, he retaliates with that one claw. That one claw is the key that I need. If I can just dodge that one claw, I think he dies, by the way. You, you know the side swipe he does? If I can just dodge that. So far, I've dodged it a, a, a 0%. If I can just dodge that. I have enough time to like really just cause crazy havoc on him, man. That claw. I'm getting better at dodging it though. Come on! Two out of the three shots uh, hit that last pimple. Two out of the three. And then I died because of it. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe maybe it's because the recoil on this gun is pretty intense. I mean, I think that's enough to, to knock it away. The way that... You see that? How it goes up? I think that's what happened. Because two of the three shots hit, man. The third shot, I, it, it, I think it... it clanked against some flesh the great thing about the magnum is that it's one shot and it's an insta kill that's what the magnum should have been i did a playthrough on on nightmare maybe they patched it but the magnum was sometimes killing it in one hit sometimes it was killing it in two hits maybe they patched that and if they did they should have Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Getting a little greedy. I'm, I'm a definitely greedy person. So, Anima Bandito, what was your, your last Twitch ID? What was your last Twitch ID? You said you changed your name. Tell me. Uh oh. to think who the hell you could have been. No, Ronnie, no! Alright, you know why that kills me? It's a really easy dodge, but when, when time slows down, it really does mess with your timing skills. 
because I'm going for that extra greedy hit. When time slows down, it messes with your timing on that to some degree. I need to make myself like a, a reminder on how to how to do this this boss fight later on. So like when I'm sleep deprived from some sort of marathon. But this boss really is horseshit. People said I would rage on this boss, and that's not true. I'm not going to rage on this boss for sure. I've got patience for days for, for dumb shit like this. Even find it fun. I wish people understood how I worked more. Because everybody, when I before I did Inferno, everybody was saying that I wouldn't like it and I'm going to quit. Usually people are very long about it. Oh, damn it. Oh God, no. That was an easy dodge. That's the infamous room down there. You see it? some of the E fellas. I'm gonna diet though. I'm trying not to like gain any more weight. I'm such a fatty right now. I might do with some cooking streams, but the thing is I'm eating really basically. Like I'm eating like a super basic bitch right now. I can do cooking streams on my channel now. Got a laptop. I can film it from my kitchen. Problem is when I cook for myself, I mostly don't cook anything delicious. I I'll, I, I work with single ingredient dishes because I hate cooking and then I apply fire to it. Smack. Yeah, pasta, single great ingredient. Oh, actually, it's not true. The thing is, I'll I'll, I'll buy pre-made uh, tomato sauce rather than make my own. Pretty much here, like beans is the single ingredient, rice single ingredient. Uh, right now I'm binging on oatmeal. But I'm calorie counting like crazy, you know. Calorie counting keeps me from just eating nonstop. Dummy. All right, let's go.
No, you fucking asshole. Four. Five. Oh, dead. That's RNG right there. I think I was in panic mode too, by the way. I wasn't trying to... I wasn't trying to, to evade it. It's, it's RNG, Mike. Somewhere between four, the fourth and eighth hit. It's, it has a maximum combo potential of eight hits. And starting at the fourth hit, there's a delay. Um, potential delay. The, the hit can happen anywhere between the fourth hit and the eighth hit. But once that delay is done, like, once, once he does a delay, oh, you bitch. He does this, the RNG hit. Once the delay is done, the attack is over. We got this, fellas. I wish coronavirus wasn't a thing right now, man. I want to do some IRL streams, like super bad, but like, the hell am I supposed to do if everybody, if I have to stay away from everybody? the reloading I don't recall hitting a reload there maybe my finger slipped or maybe she just buffered it yeah but I think a cooking stream would be a little boring at this point if I'm dieting I'm gonna get back down to like 160 man like when I was first on twitch just in tv I was 160 back then I'm 120, 222, 220 actually. 220. I really blew up during that pandemic. Just barely enough ammo. All right, now we're using Magnum. Okay, what's been killing me lately? Go ahead. I'm gonna put you right back on your ass. Oh, nice. What? We gotta go with this one. Why does the game do that? I hate it when games do that, you know? I'm not a fan of it. You think I don't know how to fuck you up? One power source remaining. This is it, fellas. Ah! Oh, Ronnie, you dumb bitch. That was it, man. That was the urn. If I, if I would have hit that dodge, that would have been the urn. That would have been GG's. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge that claw. Dodgeball. Progress, for sure, man. Getting there. Slowly clawing my way there. Alright, let's go. Yeah, it's a dodgeball quote. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. He throws a wrench at the guy's head. Puh! 
I've got a question, fellas. Um, it's been a while. I've been streaming for a while. Does the game volume have any pops in it? Like, stuttering pops? And does my voice have any stuttering pops on it? Have you guys noticed that? And can you maybe see? Because my sound mixer is a little wonky right now. It's going through some weird... Gone through some weird, some weird times. Oh wow, that was faster than I thought. It did make. I mean, has it been doing it the entire stream? Is what I'm saying. I think I need a new sound mixer or something. This one costed 500 bucks, and I think it's broken. I think it's broken, but I'm not shelling out money for that, man. I put too much money in the stream. I think I I don't really want to put much more money, man. I put in thousands, 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 thousands and thousands of dollars. So I'm hoping the pops are not unbearable. Nice dodge. Oh, there was delay there. It has not. I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping because the thing is when I'm... Yeah, it's weird. I'll run my, my PC volume through the mixer and I'll be listening to like music or watching videos on YouTube and I hear those pops all the time. And if I record a video of me watching a video... I'll hear the pops in the video so I know they're true. So I know it's going... I, like, it's a sound mixer, basically. It's the sound mixer. But for some reason, when I'm streaming, I don't think it's happening. Which is a good thing. I can deal with that. I can deal with that, you know? We're going for this one first. Well, welcome to Twitch. How'd you figure out about Twitch? Damn, that is hard as hell to dodge after coming out of that alleyway. After coming out of that alleyway of doom. It's a super hard dodge, man. Like, at that, the, the, uh, it's hard because, like, you're so close to it. You can't quite see when the arm is done moving towards that side because you're, you're point blank next to him. And your vision is so obscured. That's a hard dodge. If I can dodge that, I'm telling you, it's, it's a done deal. Game your friends and son. Okay. Thanks, I can't shoot anything. Ooh, boy. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. You die now. <laughs> like, I can't hit the last pimple. Twitch is pretty fun. I've been on this website before it was called Twitch a long time ago. Streaming first. I don't know, man. Since 2009, I didn't even start on Justin TV. This website used to be called Justin TV back in 2009, 10, 11, a little bit 12. I think all of 12. I think Justin TV died in 2013. JTV. But before JTV, I was streaming on Ustream. So I'm not sure how long I was on Ustream either. Oh, you got me. 
That was a legit. I'll give him. I'll give him a, a head nod for that one. Freaking Ustream. I wonder how Ustream is doing these days. I know, man. 360p was the shit. Back 360p was the shit. I was streaming at like some weird resolution back then. Oh, why did he start off with that attack? And I remember like upgrading to 480p and thinking I hit gold and my stream was amazing. And now I'm at 720p. If I had a better internet, I would do 1080. If I had a better internet. The thing is, I live in the Bay Area of California, and the most they give is 5 megabytes upload. And I'm lucky because even though I'm buying 5 megabytes upload, for some reason they give me 6. So I'm pretty happy about that. I can stream at 720p pretty comfortably. 60 FPS, of course. Damn, Ronnie. Yeah, that's how it works, man. I can't wait until the Bay Area upgrades its its upload, man. Give me 10, I'll be happy. I can do 1080p, 60 FPS. No problem, I would say. I think the most you can stream on Justin TV, or sorry, on Twitch is like 6,000, is it? Or is it 8,000? Anybody here know? I forgot what it was, what the data cap was. Yeah, I hear a lot of people. It, it's weird, like with Europe. Um, I guess it's it's kind of hit or miss. Some people just have abysmally bad internet over there, and some people have crazy good internet over there. For me, I need to move, man. I need to move. Super Herrick, did you rechange your name? Was your name Super Herrick fan a while back? Or am I? Or is that the crack that I've been smoking? Oh man! Super Kamek fan, I think, is the one. Let me take a quick look. I think I had another fan, a person that whose name was Super Kamek fan. Reminds me of that. Super Kamek, Kamek like the Mario wizard. Got you. I'm under the Cali lockdown, yeah. I want to do some IRL streams so bad. I need to move, though. Who wants to uh, house me under their bed? I'll live under your bed, and I'll pay rent. Just give me 10 megabytes upload. Boy, I will be good. I'll sleep in your closet or something. Nice. Oh, I reloaded like a dummy. You'll take the cabinet. We're going to get a streamer house going. I think a streamer house would be pretty fun. I just need somebody that has a mansion. <laughs> and I'll set everything else up. Problem is I wouldn't be able to pay the bills just streaming, so... What's up, M Ray? We've been on this boss fight for a while now. We're getting close to the end, though. It's gonna happen within 30 minutes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven.
One. Two. What the hell? One. Damn, Ronnie, damn! That was an intense first round. That guy held nothing back on that one. Okay, so you can react to it. You can definitely react to that hit. It's not impossible. I said it was impossible, but it's not impossible. That hit is definitely... You gotta have cool nerves, man. You gotta be ice cold in your veins. You gotta have ice. Liquid nitrogen running through your veins. So you don't panic. Can I, mod I don't have any moderators, though. All right, let's let's do that. After this death, ah, eh, fuck it. I I haven't done one of those in a while, or ever actually. Let's try to let, let's let's uh we'll do a betting thing, okay? Within thirty minutes, if I don't beat this within thirty minutes, you get some channel points. All right. Shape is dead. Are you shape, you son of a bitch? I have a feeling you could be shape. You and him have similar personalities. Hmm. I would like I could see you being shape. I could see you being Kappa boss. Like one of the two. Alright, we're gonna start a channel point thingy. I've never done one of these. Let me see here. Start a prediction. Okay. Viewers will predict. All right, check this out. All right, you have five minutes to vote on this. You have five minutes to vote on this. You or a mod will need to confirm the outcome within 24 hours of the end of the prediction. Okay, cool. I've never done this before. There you go. Oh, my goodness. I'm honored, M. Reganer, that you use this month's Prime sub on me. Thank you, lololol. La 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 la. Thank you, M. Ray. All right, guys, vote up. Predicted, all right? I've got 30 minutes to beat this fool now. If I'm wrong, you get channel points. Well,. All right, phase one down. 30 minutes, guys. If I can beat this 30 minutes. It's considered gambling. That's stupid. Channel points are worth nothing. All right, 2.48. So, what? Uh, who was going to remind me in 30 minutes? Alexa, set an alarm for 28 minutes. 28 minutes. I love Alexa. That's my girl right there. Hold on, what is this? All right. <laughs> when I beat this, I don't know what, what what it is. I think I have no faith. I would guess there's no faith. Alright. 
Let's take out the Magnum. All right, we're going for this one first. Everything sucks. I need to go backwards when I'm doing that, man, because it's so hard to judge the timing on that without being able to see it. All right, we go. We're going to win this. So what's what's it look like? What's the percentage between I'm going to beat it versus I'm not going to beat it? I can't see right now, and I'm going to keep playing. So if you guys pick I'm going to beat it, you're going to get rich, man. All those non-believers. God, I forgot that was the second one. 90 no, 10 yes. Feels good, man. I'm gonna prove you suckers wrong, all right? We got 30 minutes for this. We're gonna make somebody rich out there. I don't know how much you gambled. Part of the no crew. Or part of the yes crew is about to get rich. We're getting there, man. I'm telling you, I'm going to have an urn. You guys don't think so, but it's going to be an urn coming up. It's coming, baby. I believe. Personally, I believe. I would, If I had to vote on myself, which I would, I would put yes, I'm beating it within 30 minutes. If I had to. Although I've got unlimited channel points, so I can't really gamble. I see you, easy. Let's go. About to make you fucking rich. Doing this for for you, man. Dodge this shit. I I can dodge anything. Go ahead. I'm gonna put you right back on your ass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh God, no. Why did he have to do that move, man? Out of all the moves he could have done. He does it up to eight times. And, uh... It's, it's random after the fourth hit of when the delay will be. If I could have dodged that, that would have been it, man. Alright, let's go. Why did you just start doing that move? All right. So on the on the final once the timer rings basically, when the timer rings, I get to finish that attempt though. So if I'm on an attempt on on minute 30 after I die, that's the last attempt basically. That's how we're going to do this. We won't stop halfway. You would have poison clouded him is what you would have done venom. Not over here. 
Not over here we don't. Damn it. Oh, come on. That was a perfect dodge. Let's go. Perfect dodge, man. <laughs> you felt that, didn't you? Why does he open up with that? Don't do that to me, game. I gotta do this in 30 minutes. All right, we're going for it again. I don't even remember, man. All I know is, ah! it's the only line I know. Oh, you acid bastard. The acid, man. Come on, game. Don't do that to me. We need we, we need to, like, mod. Get a modding community to, to mod the acid out. All right, that's 10 minutes. We're 10 minutes in. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. We got this, fellas. <sighs> yeah, I kind of wish you could delete messages sometimes on, on Twitch, too. Give me good RNG. No, nope, you're son of a bitch. Doing. 
One, two, three, four. Fuck, I had that. I properly reacted to that. Just a little, a little too soon on the dodge. That would have been it, man. I keep saying that. That would have been it. Hold on. Ugh. right up my ass. Dude. Got like, how many minutes left? Like 15? Don't easy money me, damn it. I'm about to rob you guys of your cash, all right? I can fucking do this. I just concentrate a little bit harder. to make that dodge man i just need to do two good plays in a row two good plays in a row if i can just dodge the hand god ronnie you know it's not easy it's super easy to dodge that the problem is is my visibility is obscured right there like i can't tell when he's done scrolling upward and he's going horizontal now that's why it keeps dying, because I just can't see what's going on. Come on, go, go, go. Alright, fucko. Ooh. 
why do you do that attack? That's the that's the death attack, man. I dodged the tentacles though. I dodged the the claws perfectly. I think I'm getting good at dodging the claws now. I just gotta. I think I've got the timing, but man, that tentacle freaked me out when I saw it. How much time left? I think we have 10 minutes left. It's not fair, man. The acid is not fair. Start off with that hit. Stop blocking the hits. Oh, baby. Welcome, Raiders. I gotta concentrate. I'm sorry. Oh, Ronnie, stop it! Come on, Ronnie. Getting down to the last tries, man. Why is that one move just wrecking my ass? Stop it! Oh, that ass that almost hit me. Oh, that's right! Oh, I'm thinking about the acid. I'm thinking how lucky I am that I missed it. And then I forgot that I should be thinking forward, not to the past. I have like eight minutes left. dodge oh man i'm i'm really i'm drowning now i'm just messing everything up all the easy things i think it's over got seven minutes doing everything wrong now shut up bonnie just stop talking stop thinking just play I need to get to my zen area. Alright, just play.
Give me some good RNG game. Give me some good RNG. Shut up, Lonnie. Stop talking. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on. Come on. Go. Was the run. So sorry. The thing from my earphone fell off. You can't double up anymore. The five minutes is over. I got five minutes left. Five minutes. This thing's falling out of my ear. I really have to go Super Saiyan or, or else this isn't going to. All right, just calm down. Deep breath. God, we hit that eight hit combo perfectly. Seven. Suck on these nuts, bitches. It's time. on me this is probably I got two more chances left maximum one left minimum fuck I didn't I forgot that that's a two hit combo I forgot that wasn't a two hit combo Oh, 
are you doing that for? Okay, last try. This is the last try, fellas. This is this is it. Last try. This is the last try. This is the last try. I'm pretty sure. Alexa, stop. We fucked up. Well, that was, uh, gave it a shot. We're going to dispense the points now. Payday it is. So sad. I could have done it, man. We had five people backing me. We had five believers. Son of a bitch. We had th what? How is it? We had five people that believed, but put in no points and we had three people that didn't believe that put in crazy points jeez choose outcome i'm gonna fucking give it to the believers anyway fuck you guys just kidding i can't do that there you go payout there's your payout fellas You're rich now. You could have used that earlier, eighth player. I swear to you. I'm still almost there, man. It wasn't 30 minutes, though. Maybe it was 31 minutes. It wasn't 30. What the hell? Sorry, man. I, I tried. I did it for the believers. There was more believers in there, too. There was more believers. It's okay. I got this. Thank you, Mike. For that follow. This is for you, Mike. This next attempt's for you, all right? I got this all day long. <laughs> Thanks for the points. <laughs> Damn it. Nice. Oh, come on, bro. That was a easy dodge. <sighs> I feel like I've really got this boss down on lock, man. It's just a little bit of bad RNG and just being an idiot sometimes. Just a little bit of idiocy will ruin this fight. But it's like, it's almost there. Like, I understand this boss so well.
Oh my goodness, I saw that arm raise. It was too late to dodge. Nah, the heater, I think my hands, yeah, my hands are pretty cool, but I think I can still operate it. I'm operating them at like 90% right now, maybe 85 lowest. My fingers are, have been cold for a while. Ice, ice fingers. The dexterity is maybe a little like, maybe there's like a frame or two that's being affected by the acid you know what I'm gonna do enema bandito I'm gonna contact some of my admin friends and I'm gonna see what your name history has been they're gonna look into your your account and see what your name history has been. I hope the channel points are worth it for you. I will know your true identity. Boner. Your true identity, you're going to be like Miss Zoe or somebody. Miss Zoe, Kappa Boss. Maybe you're Mr. Killer. All the old school people. Bad Wolf Lena. That's not, I mean, Kappa Boss was 2012. I've been streaming since 2009. Although most of my viewers, I didn't get any followers until 2010. Like I didn't have more than one viewer until 2010. But I also didn't do commentary in 2009. I was too scared. I was like, people are going to hear my voice. Yeah, we're way over that point now, aren't we? Got greedy. Kappa boss, I think he he's he comes to my stream like once a year. He'll he'll, he'll spam Kappa or something and then and then he'll like leave. I, th I know his real life name. I know his address. I know where he where he lives. I think his name was Andre or something. Captain Boss, you son of a bitch. Aren't you? Go ahead. I'm gonna put you right back on your ass. 
Oh, why that arm? I feel like you are a count of boss because you're the no one else would know. He was remember he was from Portugal. Why don't you just say it? Why don't you just say it? You're a troll just like him. You're either shape or Kappa boss to me. I can't think of anybody else. Although I'll never get the actual answer from you, will I? I don't think it's shape. Shape wouldn't do this to me. Shape's a bro. He wouldn't do this to me. Asshole. Yeah, Shape was cool. Lilin, Lilin's dead too. I banned her a while ago, but I unbanned everybody. And I haven't told her. It, fellas. This is it, fellas. Don't fuck this up. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Shit. Gave it a shot, man. You know, I think the reason that he got me there is because it, it wasn't entirely in view, is the problem. It wasn't entirely in view. His hand. I was like standing there rather than here. You know? Standing too close. I gotta remember, I gotta stand really far back because it also gives you some extra frames. I think. Some dodge frames. Don't do that. Come on, why would you dodge that like that? Uh oh. I'm getting there. This boss ain't easy. Think if I, you know, the thing is, when I think about this, I think of the marathons that I do with Resident Evil. I always play on the highest difficulty. And I don't know if I'd even want to play this game on the highest difficulty during a marathon. Because, you know, I kind of want to go quick on a marathon, right? I, could, I couldn't spend, like, hours here. Like, if on one boss, like, I'd have to play on hardcore. And I, I don't, I wouldn't feel good about playing on hardcore. But hardcore is the optimal difficulty. For fun. I think hardcore is optimal for fun. Oh, reload. This gun sucks, man. Next playthrough, I swear to you, it's going to be Magnum City. It's going to be... How many Magnum shots do I have right now? I've got 16. You guys can't see. Oh, you can see the... Uh, you can see this. You know, the 33. So when I'm, when I'm firing... Okay, that's good. You guys can at least see what how much ammo I have. 16, 24 bullets. 24 mag shots. That's it, man. Mag all the way. At first, the Magnum sucked, and they patched it or something. Because it blows it up every time. If I just had the Magnum, the Magnum would be the way. It's the way to paradise. Alright, dick. Oh, 
Oh, we killed him. Oh, screw it. We're doing this. Oh my god. I was anticipating I, I shouldn't anticipate you know that's the death that's like all right so in video games the death of like reaction is anticipating like if you play a fighting game the last thing you want to do is anticipate sometimes because it kills your reaction like anticipation is basically a hallucinated reaction Kill him. All right, let's go. Mm, it's an eight hit combo. It goes all the way up to eight. And it, 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 go ahead. I'm gonna put you right back on your ass. it starts being really lame. Bitch, please. I don't think so, buddy. He wanted to fucking eight hit combo me. Stop that. I don't even need to reload or... Er this is it. If I can just... If I can just... You think I don't know how to fuck you up? Oh no! What is that? There we go! Done! Game over! How long was that? That was under 30 minutes, right guys? That was 30 minutes. It's done. I just got to run there. Don't die. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Suck on this nuts. Woo. I'm so happy. God damn. I feel like I just ate a whole pizza by myself. Oh, I wonder if you can die here. That'd be horrible. Press the button. Come on! Next time, take the fucking hit. Good God, guys. Good God, this fight. That's that's the end of the fight, man. Good riddance. Good riddance. We got one bullet left. Damn, this looks so sick, though. I, I won't lie. For the remake, for this remake, this looks pretty fucking cool, doesn't it? With all that shit, that looks pretty cool. For, like, a Nemesis kill. Like, in the original, remember how Nemesis on his final form was, like, a little slug? He was, like, this little slug that's twerking. It was twerking on the ground. Looks like a re a Resident Evil 2, doesn't it? Let's go. Jill looks like she's seen better days, man. Alright, guys. Am I going to kill Nikolai in one shot? 
Predictions, go. I love this little fight between Carlos and Nikolai. Oh no. Let's look. You're not going to stop. Promised you this, didn't you? How long was that fight between Nemesis, man? No! Oh. Do you have any idea what you've just done? Oh no. Don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rubble. Ten minutes. Ah, the missile has launched, and that is my cue. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had. That was like five hours, man. I don't know how long that shit was. I've been streaming for seven and a half hours. That was like a five-hour fight. No, 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 no. Maybe it was like the uh, the first nemesis took me a while too. I love this little fight between them. It's so fucking raw. Jill! Shoot him! I can't! I'll hit you! Do it! You have to! There's no other way! Carlos! I shot him in the head, man. Hey! I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. Oh, shut up. That would just be too cruel. The worst quote in this game, possibly. What about him? Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! Some... If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. Some people had a problem with, with Nikolai's motives in this game. It was purely greed and money. What do you guys think about his motives? His motive of, of wanting money... How, how, how has that sat with you? The original game was money. It hasn't changed. Jill, you all right? There it is. It's a good question. I'd like to know. What your guys' opinions on his his uh, villain? He's the, the villain, right? His villainous motives were for money. True shock. I never so noticed. Mercy. You don't really get to get that. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster making a virus. It was greed. Human greed. Human greed. I decided then and there. The ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes, too. I would end them. Once and for all. Bump, 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 bump. Oh, wrong game. Let's play some Resistance. You know, I, what does this song sound like? I don't think I've listened to the song in a while. Let's hear it for a little bit. I'm kind of curious how this composition goes. I don't remember this song. The original song was pretty sad. Remember in the original game? It was really sad. It sounded pa patriotic mixed with sadness. 
does this song fit the end of the game for this game? What do you think? Not really. It sounds kind of creepy and mysterious. Does this song match the vibe of what you would feel after beating this game on a first playthrough? Kind of ominous. It has that feeling to it, but I don't know if... The thing is, in the first game, it was a sad... It was kind of sad, right? But they also showed everybody dying and the town being obliterated. So it was kind of sad, you know? I guess maybe it matched that game. What does it, it match with this game? I don't know, man. S rank Inferno. I, I think I can do it. How many saves can you have? Obviously, I would save before both the Nemesis fights. I don't think any other part of the game really needs saves. Maybe each Nemesis fight save before. I mean, there was a few tough parts while running through Raccoon City, though. All right, so how much ammo did I have? I had tons of explosive rounds that I never used, did I? So I'm thinking for my next playthrough, I, uh, explosive rounds, I got to use those more often. I had no shotgun rounds this, this run through. I didn't need... Okay, the handgun ammo, I saved a bunch, but I didn't need it because Magnum's awesome. So next game, uh, next playthrough, definitely tripling down on Magnum. Having 24 Magnum shots would be ideal. Oh, here we go. This sounds like the original. Yeah, I need 24 bullets for sure, man. That would make it so much faster. Just obliterating his entire, his entire pimples in like one shot the way I was doing it on the first round. Dun, dun. This is the original song. All right. It's, it's a remix though. This is a remix. I think it's a decent remix. I think original might be better. So I need to use more of those grenade rounds, man. The, the mines... I think the mine rounds, I didn't need a whole lot of. I, I, I didn't use the mine rounds. I didn't use the explosive rounds. The flame rounds were really wrecking him. So I think flame and acid I should go for next time. Not kill the hunters with acid. Kill them with, I don't know, shotgun that goes through evil. How many mag ammo total in the game? Uh, there's enough. I was using it on, on regular enemies, the magnum. But there's enough. I can get 24 if I save them all. All right, cute song and everything. Let's look at the stats. Well, that guy has some pretty good aim if he shot that thing. Just saying. All right, let's see what I did. Achievement unlocked, Dominator. 10 hours. I died 211 times. <gasps> oh my fuck. Saves 24. Clear time. 1020, roughly. Alright, we got some new things here. Cool. Um, all right, let's take a look at my results. I've beaten this game only a few times, right? I've beaten this game maybe like six times total, maximum, maybe five. I beat this game maybe five or six times, maximum. My nightmare playthrough only had 88 deaths. I wonder if that's true or not. Because if you hit continue, it saves your death. But if you hit reload, it doesn't save your death. So maybe I would have hit some reload on there. There's no way I it was only six hours. Because I spent maybe just as much time on nightmare mode killing him as I did as an, on Inferno. So I feel like this might be f false. Hardcore. Hardcore is easy, man. Only 18 deaths on hardcore on the first playthroughs. Huh. Oh. S rank 145? Are you kidding me? And you can have five saves. Okay. 
I'd have to pick where those saves are out. Each Nemesis fight would be a save for sure. I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. All right, I've got 50,000 points here. Okay, I can get the cheat weapons. It looks like something from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Infinite Mup handgun. All right, what weapon should I get? I need to unlock stuff. I'm not waiting for the rocket launcher. I think I can get all of these actually. Hold on. Okay. Nah, I can't get all these. I can get two more, maybe three. Well, obviously, this is going to be what I'm going to get. So I didn't get the uh, the handguns, but I never use infinite weapons anyway, you know? All right, fellas, that's it for me tonight. God damn, it's 3.48 a.m.